Yeah, let's go crisp, which will block out background noise. Um, okay, I'm just talking to myself. If anybody knows how to make these cards look bigger or, or show higher, I, don't, I can't find my words today. So it's going to be one of those sessions, I guess. Um, so we're at a 2550 PLO table sitting alone. I guess I'll sit at 5100 alone. I don't actually want to play 5100 with four buy ins, <laughs> but I said I would. So, uh, And then I guess we will join the other tournament, which begins in one minute. We are registered. Letting you guys know in chat to fire away questions because right now we're just one tabling. Hope everybody's had a good start to their World Series of Poker. Luca, thank you very much. Do not have chat showing on screen, and I'm not going to do that in time, but if I respond to somebody, I'm not making up that they said something. Yeah. All right. Got the second tournament table going. I don't know why the tables, the table sizes are very weird. Um, sometimes they come out wider than other times. I don't know if it's the number of seats at the table, but it messes with my overlay. I don't want to make it too small because I got the note once that people watching on iPhones could not see. Let's see how this second table looks. I mean, they're going to have to overlap if we're doing it this way. That's fine. All right. I guess I'll tell um, Instagram that we're going live. Oh, I need the link. You know what? It's a hassle. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll never know that I was here, which is why you have to subscribe so that you always get notified when I go live. Because it's not always... Right now, it's not on Twitter. It's not on Instagram. It will be on Twitter soon. I scheduled a tweet. Maybe I just want to go bigger. We're so deep. I really, Honestly, I hate starting tournaments this deep because... The pots are so insignificant. I do like playing deeper stack poker. I don't I don't love short stack poker, but um, this is really deep to start. Um, I don't know. I also don't know how to play no limit hold'em, so we'll see. Luca asks, are there, there going to be more sessions of the PLO heads up with jungle during the WSOP when we're both likely to be in Vegas? Um, I think he's going to be pretty busy during the summer. I'm mostly available. Um, I guess we're not supposed to fold Queen Jack, but not thrilling. Um, but yeah, I hope we can play. He actually was texting me today about, well, sort of about it. Um, I beat him if he's bluffing, so I guess I'm going to check. Obviously, I can bet this hand. My mic is off, says everybody. Doesn't seem like it to me. Um, I mean, I see the bars, so it could have been before I switched the mic input. This is weird, honestly. Um, I feel like he turned a deuce with like um, queen deuce of spades or deuce five of spades. Do you really think I'm folding anything? I guess he's trying to make, if, if I have a missed flush draw, he might be trying to make me fold. So let's see. All right, it's sixes. Did not put him on that. I'm pretty sure the audio will be working now, but um, 
you're in a five minute delay, so I will have to find out in five minutes. Okay, I'm definitely talking. I mean, I, I see the bars, so I know it's... Oh, okay. Someone's saying it's it's better now. Anyway, now I have some questions to answer. If I could win any WSOP event, which would I choose? Asks Moonlight Master. I have to pick the main event, but if we're going to exclude the main event, um, Poker Players Championship, that's a really fun one. Not a lot of prestige there. Poker Kramer, good to see you. Uh, do you have to be outside the U.S. to play WSOP online? Ask Liz, asks Liz, does it? No, actually, the opposite. You have to be in just a few select U.S. states. Um, yeah, I don't think WSOP is in Ontario, Canada. Now a lot of your mic is off, your mic is off, your mic is off. Okay, everybody's saying it's working now. Great. Um, thanks, guys. And gals. Henry B says, looking forward to some PLO action this year, Phil, and you splashing about in NL MTTs. That's what we're getting today. Hopefully both. But we will see. So the 500 that started a little while ago has... Three re-entries allowed over, okay, so in 200 more minutes, so three and a half hours. Um, so we're going to be here at least at least four hours. I'm going to go out on a limb and say. And then this, this 1K has, I think, two rebuys, two rebuys for another math, four and a little hours almost four and a half hours. So yeah, unless I get real crazy. Um, we'll be hanging out for a bit here. Sixes, I'm going to go ahead and call. I don't really... I mean, it's a million big blinds deep. Checks to me. He probably should check a lot. I'm just going to give up this pot, essentially. XX asks if I watched any of the million, uh, the hustler. I did not watch the stream, but I've seen a handful of the highlights, some pretty cool pots. Uh, being played. I've I even considered um reviewing some of them. I've never done like a TV hand review before on YouTube. Uh, but I thought about it. I'm still thinking about it. Um Andrew Miller, thank you, thank you. Dark Monkey says good luck. Thank you very much. Kenyatta Phil I started following you this year. I love your content. Good luck. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, Ripper is asking about Durr. Um, I mean, yeah, I still consider him a friend. We're not, we don't see each other often these days, but I don't see anybody that often these days besides my wife and my son. So. Nothing on the other table, just a lot of folds. I guess this will be a more interesting table because we're a little bit less deep. Kineora, yeah, I would rather play a PLO event if they were going, but we've got two no limit events tonight. 
Yeah, Dirt did great in the million dollar game, it looked like. He's always very comfortable with um he's more comfortable with big stakes, I think, than than almost anyone. And uh, I think I think the bigger the game on TV, the the better it is for him. Anything. I guess I'll just to make things simpler I can go with this to table view. Do I like this? It's fine, right? I think I need to move myself a little bit. No, impossible. Let's see. Don't understand why it doesn't want to move. Okay. That's a little better, I guess. Um let's move the table to right there. Okay. If you guys dislike this view, let me know. Yeah. I mean this it's so silly to play this deep. I guess let's just open to three big blinds. Let's play a pot. Let's play a big pot. Oh, we, <laughs> I still have my uh, all this overlay stuff so, for my jungle match. There we go. Apologies. Okay. Flop middle pair. It's a pretty good board. Small line cold call range doesn't have a lot of 4x and 5x. Obviously, it has some 10x, but. Just going to check turn. Kent touched this. Is how do you eat healthy while grinding online MTTs? I actually find it pretty easy to eat healthy while I'm playing. What I find harder is when I'm done playing for the day. Um, like, I don't even eat much while I play. Uh, so I probably lose here, but I have a lot of unpaired hands I can bluff with, so I don't think this is a good bluffing hand. Too bad. Got me. Um, Ari asks if I'm playing any WSOP live events. Says I assume you're playing PLO high rollers, but anything else? Um, probably not. Um, I... I don't know. It. I mean, this already is <laughs> going to throw me off my schedule, but I just find that the live tournaments are long and slow, and I don't have that much fun. And then I'm just off schedule for days at a time. I mean, this is not an open, but we can have a little fun. Still got our three rebuy bullets. It's probably close to an open. Maybe it even is one. There are no antis, though. <laughs> How are there no antis, by the way? Antis start at one at the next level. No, two levels away. Uh, okay. It's pretty big. I mean, it's not huge, but... I think it's too big to peel 9-5 suited. I'm going to be a little bit disciplined. Oh my god, we would have flopped a pair. Open up to our hearts. Can you explain why online poker is forbidden in the country that invented online poker? Sounds completely silly to me. Uh, it's very silly to me uh, as well. I think it's forbidden in most states here because of lobbying money that uh, that ended up shutting it down countrywide and then state by state individually. They're legalizing it one at a time, but um, they're not in a rush and it's not it, it doesn't generate a lot of revenue for states. Mm -hmm. 
friends for friends says, what is this? Is your screen broken or something? Why are there only two cards? <sighs> I'm sitting alone at, um, is this going to work if I show you all four? Yeah, I'm sitting alone at two PLO tables down here. And I could get... So, like, there's one person sitting at 1020 and another 2550 table. I just assume he's not going to play against me. Um, there, There's a five-handed 510 game, but I don't really want to play that. So, yeah, we're kind of stuck with, um, with this for now. Called by the big blind... Better check. So both seem fine. What do I know about No Limit Hold'em? As you mentioned, probably have the best hand with the four, but I think just check. Marlo, you are very welcome. Steven, I haven't played any live WSOP events this summer. I don't know if I will. Um, I'm actually going to call here. Uh, reason being, uh, a lot of draws that have completed here uh, bet the turn. So I think he's more likely to have rivered like king seven or queen seven or something. It's like clubs bet the turn a lot. A nine bets the turn a lot. A six might not bet that big. Seven, eight bets the turn. Even the gut shots that hit. Um, 7-3, if he somehow 7-3 spades, pretty likely about the turn, so. Uh, Ace-jack offsuit. Drew Morse says, at the WSOP, you were having lunch at the cafeteria years ago, and it was really slow, and I was at a table away from you, debated thanking you for it once, but didn't want to bother you, so thanks. Um, you're welcome, and you could, uh, anytime I'm, in public, <laughs> you're welcome to bug me. Um, if you like see me rushing to get somewhere, then maybe it's not the best time. But otherwise, I mean, don't hesitate. I don't really know here if out of position is supposed to do a lot of checking or not. Oftentimes that is the case, but this is very early position. I mean, I probably have six outs, but it's 12, 15%. So. All right, he can win. Zodiac says, are you going to be streaming the Poker Go stream? I don't know what that means, so could you clarify in a follow-up question? Uh, and actually probably restate the question because it'll be five minutes from now. Tournaments I'm playing today, so this is uh, on the left, it's $500 WSOP bracelet event. On the right, it's $1,000 WSOP bracelet event. They're both no limit. The one on the right is deep stack, which is why our stacks are so stupidly deep. The one on the left is called a bankroll builder, which means that uh, you can build your bankroll there. Old king four off. Not the worst three bet hands if you, I mean, you need to three bet. Well, you don't need to. I like to three bet polarized out of the big blind. Okay, we've got a hand. Let's zoom in. Kings facing it under the gun open. A little over 100 big blinds deep. This seems, I don't really know. That seems like a good sizing. Maybe something in between, but I don't want to click around too much. Um, very good flop for us. I think just betting small is probably the way to go. We'll go with quarter pot. 
Um, not sure about this. I'm actually really unsure about how to play this spot, um, sizing wise, like what a good sizing scheme is. Obviously I'm now in trouble against nines, sixes, and jack X, but I don't think, I don't know. I mean, it's just a bet. I think three quarters is probably the play. Um, da, 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 da. All right. Other table, we're opening 10-9 suited, an even better hand. Flop a big one once again. Seems like a small betting spot to me. I don't know, with a bunch of hands. You know, I was hoping to play, to learn a little more PLO. Yeah, I would love to uh, play some PLO cash, but we are, so far, not seeing any action at the tables we're sitting at. It doesn't seem like, doesn't seem promising. It's weird, the, the games on here sometimes are, Jimmy Two Times says, I hate how half the cards are cut off, put them over the name tag. I agree. Yeah, it's not my preferred, uh, UX, UI, I should say. Um, anyway, yeah, it's weird. Sometimes there are a lot of games running during the summer on WSOP.com, a lot of PLO games running, and I thought there actually would be tonight, but it's proven wrong. I could try to sit... So the only the only downside to adding a PLO right now to forcing like a low stakes PLO is that I'm then three tabling and it's a little harder to hop around um, and I can't do like a two table view like this. Bum, bum, bum. Brian says, I thought legalizing sports betting, similar in terms of money generation for states, would open the floodgates. Curious why it hasn't. Yeah, so the reason it hasn't... Um, I think it will help, but the reason that sports got a big push is because there's a lot of lobbying money behind getting sports betting legalized, and sports betting actually does generate a lot more revenue than poker for uh, the states, so it has the advantage in that respect. Now, a lot of the sports books are pretty likely to add poker, the ones that don't have it already, and when they do, when they all do... Um, I think it's likely that there'll be a bigger lobbying push, but unfortunately it's, it's kind of all about the money. Yeah. Five minutes delay. Yeah, Ari, no, uh, no games running on the side right now. I'm sitting alone at 2550 and 5100 PLO um, with only a few buy-ins in my account, by the way. So I'm hoping we get the chance to bust my account tonight, but I'm also hoping that we that I don't actually bust it. I mean, there's a one table of 510 PLO running, but no open seats. And I don't, like I said, I don't really want to add a third table. And if it's not an exciting table for me, which means 2550, um, just to deal with all the, the table jumping logistics. And <laughs> Moonlight Master, nice turning for Phil to build his bankroll. That's nice. Yeah. Can build it from 45k to 100k if I win, and that's gonna go up though. Yeah. 
Agreed, Luca. All attorneys are bankroll builders if you win. What plans do I have for the summer? Asks David Dib. I, not much. Honestly, it's going to be a continuation of my regular year. I have a lot of um, non-poker work that I want to focus on. This, I mean, pair backdoor flush draw, I don't think it's supposed to fold. This is a very big bet. And um, I just kind of feel like it's not going to go well for me. So I'm going to make a tight fold. Um, so I don't have, um, I'm probably not going to play many live events. I'm planning to stream some online events like this because I don't know. I'm looking, I really like to stream more than I do, but there's just nothing to play here, uh, in Nevada where I live. So I'm taking the opportunity while there are WSOP events. And maybe if a bunch of, uh, PLO games run, I'll just do some PLO cash game streams. But, um, yeah, I don't have a don't have a poker plan right now or I don't have a lot of poker plans I should say all right six five suited we're not gonna fold unless uh, dr. Gonzu three bets are we going to three bet or call I'm just gonna call now I think it's cold callers have a lot of uh, like pocket sevens that have us in bad shape. Flop the double gut shot. I actually think this is a spot where we might want to bet big. I think, do I? Do I? Let's go half pot and bigger on the turn. I think it's a, you know, we have a lot of sets that we play this way pre-flop. And so the first couple players have to fold uh, some one pair hands, and you know you need to have some bluffs multi way. And we're on a five minute break. I'm sticking around because we kind of just started. Got an all in over here. All right, we are on break. Let's go to this view, answer some questions. Did he say nine, 10 suit and even better than King King? Typical PLO D done, yeah. One champion question, do you think a simple, non-cunning, natured person would likely change in due course of learning poker to play professionally? I guess I don't know what you mean by, by cunning exactly. Um, I do think poker will teach you to think better, um, to problem solve better and uh, decision make better. So I'll, I'll leave the answer there. Major part of the game is deceiving. Okay, yeah, so you're talking about it more in the sense of being deceptive. I don't think it would change your, I don't, I don't think it would make you more deceptive on average. I mean, I, a lot of players, a lot of the best players are very honest in real life. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know, but I don't think so. What are my thoughts on these? Honestly, I haven't played much. So PLO, high, low, PLO eight, I, I have played some and it's kind of fun. I like it. Um, I like it shorthanded or heads up. PLO five card. I haven't really played. Eric comp sounds good. Cash games at Aria. Eh, I, I would just rather, I know that, so cash games live are a lot softer than online, but you play so many fewer hands per hour. I would rather just be playing online. And also playing online allows me to record and make run at once videos. It allows me sometimes to stream. 
Whereas playing live, I mean, I guess I could vlog it or something, but I, I don't really like playing live when, uh, cause I just haven't seen, like, I just don't like nine handed PLO and, um, I don't know. I haven't seen games that are very appealing to me. Tell my data analyst looking to work with GTO and or training companies. Any advice on how to network for that? Tried some cold call emails so far. That's, yeah, that's a tough, um, it's tough to, it's tough to network if you are not, um, like in the poker world, meaning, you know, two, like two degrees of separation away from me, for example. So if you are in the poker world and you can get from, you know, your friend to a friend of mine, to me, uh, or not just me, but anybody in poker, then, then I think that's the best way. Otherwise, cold call emails, cold emails, probably the best way. Uh, Twitter might work too, responding to um, a tweet with, uh, with, you know, how you would help. Um, yeah. Yeah, Inner Circle is very GTO. Uh, rest of world envy. I know I, uh, I get tempted a lot to convince my wife to move out of the country again, but, um, I don't think it's happening. She would not be happy. So therefore I would not be happy. Uh, da, 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 da. Nice. Good start. 6,000 hands, 15 EVBB per hundred. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for the good luck wishes. best to buy from you to improve my poker um depends on your level of expertise but from the ground up at run at once if you're a relative beginner is the best bet because it's cheap it's 50 bucks and uh, comes with a free 25 dollar subscription to essential um which has a ton of videos and um that's where i would start but if you are more advanced than I mean, look around on Run It Once uh, and or give me some more details here in chat and hopefully I'll, I'll have a more specific example. Yeah, you would think I'd learn better bankroll management, but I haven't. Rank these three players on their skills in Heads Up PLO. It's tough. I haven't played enough against Jungle Man yet. I'm going to go Venny, Jungle, Action Freak. No, Ven Action Freak and Jungle Man are maybe the same. I don't know. Uh, all right, we've got a, a huge hand, king queen offsuit in the cutoff. And uh, we're going to fold now. That was fun. You are very welcome. You should uh, you should go to bed and wake up with your kids at seven to see if I uh, if I final table. But to each each their own. Your call. I mean, I think my hand four six was probably a call even on the two tone in theory, but I had a bad feeling about it. Um, on rainbow, I probably would have called. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a long time. You can head to, um, what is it? Primedope.com variance calculator and um, see how confident you could be with certain sample sizes. But it, it takes a long time. <laughs> JJ says, Phil, going to run a bluff on you in event two for fun. Keep an eye out. Noted. Thank you. Want to move up badly. Yeah, I would always urge people to be cautious with moving up. It's, um, oh, wait, can you not see? Sorry, hold on. Move up. Okay, you can. Yeah, um, I think it's good to be cautious when moving up. There are a lot of 
you know, a lot of people just look at it as, you know, this is my win rate at these stakes and my win rate there maybe is 70% of that. So my actual hourly is 1.4 X, but what you don't think about is, you know, maybe less game availability. If you're wrong, um, you might go from a winner to actually a loser or break even. Uh, if your win rate is lower in big blinds per hundred, your variance, uh, well, the variance is going to be the same. Actually, variance sometimes increases as you go up because players play more aggressively, but your swings are going to get a lot worse. And uh, so like longer downswings uh, when you have lower win rate in big blinds per hundred. And then when that happens, how well are you going to adjust? Are you going to need to take time off to reset your mind? Are you going to play worse through it? Um, it it's It's pretty good to to stay where you're comfortable. I, I hesitate to say that because some people stick, stick somewhere for too long out of comfort, but moving up to where you're uncomfortable and, uh, it is, is often, I don't want to say too risky, but can, can be worse than it seems. Overvalue itis. Yeah, I agree. Do I have hobbies? Now being a dad, are you able to have an activity just for your enjoyment, not work related? Asking for an eventual as an eventual dad poker pro. Honestly, not really. My uh once once I became a dad, it's I, I start to I started to feel too like when I'm not playing uh or working otherwise. Um I feel like I should be with my family and I start to feel selfish taking more than, you know, if, if I meet up with friends once a week, I mean, I don't even do that once a week, but you know, once a week or less, I feel okay. But to, uh, I don't know, silly example, but just to finish work and then say, Hey honey, I'm going to go, you know, watch a couple hours of TV and then I'll be back. Um, yeah, there's not as much there's not as much down like solo time, but I was not, I mean, I really enjoy playing poker. I enjoy half of uh, non-poker work that I do. And I mean, I do that alone here in my office. And so I kind of treat that as my, my solo activity, which, you know, may or may not be healthy. Hmm. Yeah, full ring PLO is awful. I agree. So yeah, I mean, also full ring no limit hold'em is pretty bad. So we're eight-handed in both of these and haven't played a hand in a while. Let's check the lobby, see if we could do anything else that looks fun. Does not appear like it. I mean, I'm sure I get it. couple more bad hands there's a big hand all right I'll sit at 1020 PLO uh, and just see if sure we'll buy in deep see if we get action I don't think we will I mean he might play for I, I don't know this guy I'm not saying he's afraid of me but um, most people are looking for a better like looking for a good game um threes is probably a fold here but you know we're, we're bored we're in there um okay let's keep checking played his big blind he's gonna play a small blind and then we will see um threes could maybe go for value but I win against. King Queen. Lose the next hand and uh, lose my opponent. So, all right, now we're sitting alone at 1020, 2550, and 5100.
but we won with threes. Okay, might be able to play king five on the button. Nope. Let's see. Carlos asks if I still enjoy playing No Limit Hold'em. Um, not eight-handed, but I would enjoy like short-handed or heads up No Limit Hold'em, even though I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Um, when I show up at WSOP or Bobby's room, how many times per hour you ask for a selfie? Um, not, not even once, not once per hour, probably. Well, at Bobby's room, pretty rarely, um, at WSOP. I don't know, five times a day, maybe. Um, does celebrity bother you? you seem very reserved guy in real life yeah i am very reserved guy um no it here's the thing i'm not really i'm not a celebrity outside of the casino so yeah at the wsop i'm a celebrity but uh at the grocery store i'm not so i i think i would dislike being a celebrity at the grocery store uh, for sure because i'm for lack of a better word shy um but I'm at the the perfect level of celebrity, I think, uh, where if I'm going to play poker, I know that people are going to know me. But, uh, you know, if I'm out doing regular things, I get recognized, you know, once a week or something. And, I mean, maybe more than that, but they don't say anything, but... It's pretty rare if I'm like doing things, even if I were doing things every day. I guess I don't leave the house that much, so I don't I don't totally know, but do I regret any large purchases? No. Um I think it was a mistake to buy my I bought a condo in New York when I was twenty. What was I? Twenty-three? And uh, it was expensive. Um, I think that was a mistake to put too much money into a place. But um, sold it for the same amount a few years later. And so it's hard to like regret. Is my audio bugged? I don't know. Okay, everybody says it's fine. I have a, um, I have a filter on that like you shouldn't be able to hear. Uh, you can kind of hear that. Anyway, whatever. Um, any mistresses? No. No mistresses yet. I'm just kidding, honey. Um, do I still make most of my money from playing poker? Yes. I mean, until this year, definitely yes. I haven't really played this year, though. So... But I haven't made much money this year. <laughs> so um, until this year, yes. And uh, we'll see. I'd like to play. I'd like to continue making most of my money playing poker. Well, I guess I'd like to make a ton of passive income elsewhere and then also play poker. But realistically speaking. Lant, Lant says, can we see more videos of you and Jungle Man? I haven't seen new vids of you and him battling. We, we released, we were on the fifth, I think, highlight video. Um, which they've been super awesome, thanks to Moonlight Master, who is here in chat. You should all thank him if you've seen those. Uh, they're excellent because of him, not because of me. Um, but you should be able to find those on my YouTube channel, which uh, is where you are. Boom.
beg Twitter for somebody to come play me. Oh, I timed out. Good. Let's play a hand. You get three bet. Um, we're pretty bored. Early position. Um, I mean, it can't be supposed to be a call, right? But let's just do it anyways. What is the worst that could, the worst that could happen is I lose my stack, which seems like it's probably not going to happen. Opening sevens on the other table. So here, very small bet. I think with all the back doors, I call all the back doors. Back door straight draw, back door flush draw, and you know the five out being good. Get three bet on the other table where you have pocket sevens. We're going to call there as well. Switch to the two table view. We need to switch these flops, except then the decks would be wrong. Um, okay, we're going to fold here. And here we have a weird spot where we have something like if we have 10 outs, we have 25% or so, a little less. Um, Maybe two. In PLO, you have more because you have more cards. I mean, I think it's a call. The problem is if I hit, hit a five. Eh, I don't really know what to think. Um, I decided I probably, I guess I probably would have led if I hit like a three or something. Mm -mm. Did say the worst that could happen is I lose my stack. Um, doesn't for some reason didn't feel like a bluff to me on the turn, but I don't know. Um, yeah, good pot odds, but I just kind of think that his three betting range from these positions is just gonna, gonna have something a little too often to uh to find enough bluffs but oh well I'm begging Twitter to come play PLO with me for the sake of for the sake of you guys and gals. Um, hey, Phil, thoughts on rake on micro stakes PLO? Does it make sense to invest some more to move to low stakes given the competition rake trade off? Honestly, I haven't played enough of it to and, and run simulations on enough of it. I will say that PLO, PLO rake is always higher than no limit rake, but it sort of should be because PLO win rates are higher than no limit win rates for the same stakes. Um, so I wouldn't get, I mean, you should always be concerned about rake and um, especially, you know, high rake at, at low stakes, uh, both NL and PLO. But um, but I think I think it's not, might not be, if you come from no limit and you're looking at the PLO rake and see how ridiculous it is, um, it might not be as bad as it looks because the stakes are kind of just bigger. Um, but I don't really know. Why aren't you playing LA Hustlers? One mil buy-in and playing high stakes. They can do PLO too. Um, 
they uh i didn't get invited to the one mil game but i have talked to them before like i've i've been invited generally to other games uh and i've thought about it but i haven't done it yet uh long story short but uh i think about it sometimes for sure I guess this is a fold. Yeah, Michael Bennett mentioned, somebody asked about the jungle. So if you look under live on my YouTube channel, you'll see the jungle man streams. But if you look under videos, you will see the highlights. Play vision, thank you. DW, welcome, welcome. I think I'm gonna fold four three. The tender thirty one goes deaf from how loud that clap was. If you were there five minutes ago or eight minutes ago when I clapped. It was intense. Apparently there's ace king versus aces and I didn't notice. Talking to y'all. Uh hey Phil, what would be the best course or video on Rio for NLH wanting to learn basic six max or heads up PLO to play one two? From the ground up PLO would be the way to go. Uh for sure. Nobody has taken my request to come battle. I mean, I guess I'll just join the stupid 510 waiting list. All right, we've got antis. Uh, in the future, I should just not play before there are antis. I think that would be wise of me. Pretty short, whatever. 550 is a little big, but it's not bad. Okay, we get called by the small blind. This is the player who crushed my dreams with pocket fives. Well, I had the pocket fives. And uh, not a good flop, as you can see. Uh, I think it is worth a bet because he's got an under pair. Don't they have an under pair? I might shove those pre-flop. I don't know. If he's got an under pair or a suited ace, then uh, I take it down, and I do have some turns I can bluff. Uh, Peter Pan asks about the black ring. This is an aura ring that tracks my sleep, and actually I have to charge it, so thank you for reminding me. Ace three offsuit. We got a limper, and we are going to let him limp. That's his, that's his right. Is the Jungle Man Challenge still in progress? Yes, it is. We've played something like 3,000 hands, I think. Um, maybe a little less. And we are basically even. I think he's up 5K at uh, 100, 200, which is not very much. 
at those stakes. Desperately looking for more games. But I appreciate you all being, I mean, I'm, I get to answer your questions, which is pretty good. And then hopefully I can win a bracelet later. It'll get more exciting while we're at the final table. Scott asks, where do I rank myself on the list of fills in poker? That's a tough one. Um, I guess I'm third. I think I'm probably third. Third fill still. I got a ways to go. I mean, it depends on the criteria. Third, third fill, if we're talking about accomplishments in poker. Friends for Friends asks, how is PLO more profitable than No Limit in the same stakes? Wouldn't it be the other way around since equities are closer than PL in, in PLO? Um, good question. And I understand why you'd think that. Essentially, PLO is when you're playing 510 No Limit Hold'em, um, buy in 1K. Like, you're, well, you, if you play those stakes, then you know what the swings are. If you instead play 510 PLO, the average pot is bigger. Uh, you see more flops. Average pot is bigger. You see more flops in three bet pots. You see more flops in four bet pots. Uh, you see more turns, you see more rivers, and uh, it's just a bigger game. It plays bigger. So with an edge over your opposition in a game that is bigger, despite the blinds being the same level, you... Uh, 660... I'm just going to call. You... Um, the games... The, you know, your win rate can be higher. That's what I was... I lost my train of thought because I got so excited about the ace-jack. My initials being PG it gives you a chuckle. Yeah. Welp. This seems like a big hand to me. Um, do I call for a quarter of my stack? I mean, it's not supposed to be a call. I'm not going to call. I would have won. Well, I would not have won. And that was a big hand, so. See, call when I have the same hand and then fold when I'm behind. That's skill. Um, I guess 660 works. For those of you who are here, um, do you watch my other YouTube videos and which kinds are your favorite? I've, uh, in the last few months, built up a great team around me to help with video production, kind of take some more of it off my plate. And we're looking to figure out what else, you know, what, to, what, what, what to make more of, I guess we'll say. I don't want to bet any of those sizes, so I'm going to bet 820. And I'm looking to get all in. Interesting. So he's not going to have many outs. He's not going to have many outs if I'm ahead. I should probably just bet bet because if he has like king jack of clubs, he's not going to bet for me. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I should bet, I think. I mean, I should jam, jams the play, but I think that's going to get called less. So I'm going to pot. I should just bet the turn. I, for some reason, I thought it looked too strong, but that's silly. Jack nine suited. They're tempting me. Okay. okay. Not my flop. Um, do I want to bet or check? I'm going to bet. I think I'm going to check fold and probably bluff river. Yeah. I guess we'll pot here as well. You know, we don't really need to pot, I guess. Because I feel like he's going to have some like ace-jack offsuit and then hands like this, which, I don't know. I guess are just as likely to fold against Peter Sizing. Good call by him. No notes. Ace six offsuit supposed to be a fold here. Also, I'll ask if I know who's winning the Berry Sweet Challenge. I do not. Last I heard, they were close. So I'd be playing in main, main events, uh, WCP main event and other games this summer. Sorry. Not much. Uh, I'm going to play some online events here and um, play the rest by ear, but I'm not planning to play many of them. My wife's playing a bunch of WSOP events, and um, she's a lot more excited about them than I are, than I am. Okay. It's past my bedtime, guys. Uh, Bitcoin asks, Phil, how would you approach learning PLO MTT theory, working with Munker or learning NL MTT strategy and trying to apply it to PLO or something else? That's a good question. Yeah, there's no, um, there are no PLO MTT tools as far as I'm aware of. And I guess I would focus on more Munker and kind of use my, I mean, you need some knowledge of how tournaments work, um, but I, I don't think you need a hyper advanced knowledge of it. Maybe I'm wrong there, but I think I have enough kind of basic understanding of tournaments that I would just focus on the, the chip EV aspect. King Queen suited. Sorry if I just got a little loud. Uh, King Queen suited. Can we get our chips in? The problem is, I think I just call. With like 1K less, I rip it in. Maybe this is a rip, I don't know.
Okay, so Michael has me beat. I'm essentially certain of that. But could he have jacks? Could he have tens? Could he have ace jack, ace ten? Oh, he has ace king or ace queen. Um, getting two to one on the call pre flop, but then I'm going to have to go with it a lot. I'm just going to fold my way down to 10 big blinds soon. I mean, I guess it's a fold. Bjorn says, honestly, the short. Oh, okay. You guys are catching up on my question about the what you what you like to watch on my channel. Thank you very much for the for the answers in advance. Um, Zach, literally never heard of you. Well, check out my channel and let me know. My favorite one was the Phil on staking his wife. Yeah, her playing in the hundred thousand dollar buying game. Um, the Jungle Man and Phil point of view. That's shout out to Moonlight Master for editing those. Bitcoin live streams were my favorite. You're exactly where you need to be. Random questions and tips video, says Thussel. Cool. Bjorn says, honestly, the shorts are my favorite. Eric says, love them all, no hand histories. Okay. So you like the concept videos more. KVND. Like a review of a high stakes Barry and so good challenge. Would be nice if you covered more high stakes PLO. Hand histories like coin poker action, other high stakes. Heads up PLO. Yeah. Thank you. I, I enjoyed covering that. Jonathan Roy didn't know that page but before, uh, before the last hour, but watched the one on Instagram. Nice. I'm sure hand reviews from HCL bring a lot of views for you. Yeah, I haven't done any of those yet, but I found a couple of those hands really interesting, so I thought about it. Uh, Brent says, watch your Jungle Man games to answer your questions. Keep building it, people will come. Thank you for being here. Live Plane explains uh, for MTTs or cash your heads up. Would love PLO5 content. I don't play PLO5, but I would like to, I mean, I'd like to learn. <laughs> make content plo heads up hand recount shorts i like doing those too so i'm glad you enjoy them michael maybe a video for nlh players looking to get into plo that's a good idea uh hand reviews on the shorts but i've loaded uh but i have a load of vids of yours where explaining strategy and spots that i watch saved to send to others nice I watch all your videos mostly because i have no <laughs> depends on my mood sometimes i'm after those tips to get my peace of mind other times i'm after hand reviews nice thank you it's helpful. Nick Cola likes uh, going more in depth with philosophies. Particularly, but oh, that's somebody else. A response to something else. Jungle edited together. Yeah, those are great. Da, 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 da. Michael asking about the bet check bet with Jack Nine suited. Yeah, I mean, it is, uh, you have to put bluffs and value in all of your lines. And I mean, what I'll say in my defense about that hand is that I took the same line with uh, Queens, the hand, like two hands before that in a similar spot. Uh, small bets on the flop. Emery asks, why do you bet so small on the flop? The guy has 34K chips. Um, small bets just work well. It's uh, It's hard to sum up why it is, but they just do. Um, if you look in solvers, they'll tell you to do a lot of small betting. Not every time, not every spot is a small bet spot, but a lot of flop spots are small bet spots. Mm -mm. Steve Goldie, I watch every video you and your team have done. A great job. The Jungle Biz are my fave. Great editing. I also love the old school sessions. Review your play. Free Black Friday. Thank you very much. No tap, no play. I ask, should you bother trying to count combos of hands in PLO or is that too hard? Like when deciding if you should bluff or should you go by field practice? So you don't, uh, I don't count combos in PLO because there are way too many, but I do count. I mean, I effectively count combos. I count percentages. So you're dealt, for example, two cards of a given suit 20% uh, of the time. So if we're playing heads up, I open the button, you call the big blind and the flop is spade, spade, spade. I'm going to flush about 20% of the time. Um, I'm going to have a set about, I think it's 1.5 each. So four and a half percent of the time, maybe 1.25 actually. So closer to four. Um, so I count in that respect, um, but counting actual literal combos, you just can't do. 
Yeah, I was joking about it being my bedtime. I do have an early bedtime, but it's not. It's 5.30 here, so it's not quite yet. Guess I'll... I guess I will tell... Instagram that I'm live. I need to send myself the link. Or Vandal asks if I understand Bitcoin. Um, yes. I mean... More than most people, perhaps less than you. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I don't consider myself um, a super expert, but a lot of good friends who are kind of all in on crypto, and so I had a lot of conversations about it. Um, so yeah, not an expert, but compared to the average person, I am. All right, so I'm about to talk to Instagram for my story. All right, we are, let's start that again because you could hear me saying story. All right, we are live, currently two tabling, waiting at one, two, three tables, talking to chat here on stream. Uh, check out the link. And uh, come talk. Oh, I have too much junk on my desk. This is not going to work. All right, here we go. Thanks for bearing with me, everybody. Live streaming. We got two tables of World Series of Poker bracelet events. Waiting alone at three tables of high stakes. PLO, talking to chat, having a good time. See you there. We did better that time. Okay, I need to add a link. Instagram is my worst platform. No. I might get all in here. Okay, we should probably film this too. Uh, you guys are watching the same. All right, ace queen offsuit. I think I'm actually gonna call. I was gonna shove, that's why I, that's why I brought the camera out. But he's in early position. Why not have a little deceptive, uh, deceptive high card hand? And uh, it worked great because we whiffed the flop. And now we're gonna check fold. I didn't even catch the fold. That was I'm so bad at Instagram. Yeah, we're not gonna use that. Thanks for bearing with me. All right. Bitcoin says, oh, by the way. I love that this is PLO vids as well. I hope there'll be more of those session reviews or six max vids in the future too. Yeah, I want to do a few more session reviews. I'm glad you really enjoyed them. I, I put so much work <laughs> into that course. It was uh, like three full months of my life. All right, so here, um, the thing is, I am probably I probably don't have the best hand, but I think I can get it heads up pretty often and clear out a lot of dead money. So let's go for it. And if the first player, you know, folds like I might get it through or like at this point I might have the best hand I still probably don't but I might 
Okay, got it in good with a lot of dead money, so I, I did it correctly. He's done offsuit here. Um, but yeah, I spent a ton of time on that course, so I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed it. No tap, no play says, please reward Please review more of your old school hand histories, like versus, uh, like versus Tom Dwan from the Full Tilt days. I can do that. All right, so here, you're just looking at both tables, right? Let's make it 1390. So hard to type in bets here. Uh, here we're going to fold, I guess. One million big blinds deep. That's actually getting a little bit less for now. Yeah, it's less ridiculous. 150. All right. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're going to win this hand. Let's just go with the sizing they chose for us. Yeah. I was right. All right. Rahul says you are one of my one of the few streamers who stays cool as a cucumber. Yeah, I think it's to my detriment as a streamer. Uh, a lot of people like to watch the emotion pouring through people. I do too, if I'm watching a stream. Uh, so I apologies that I, that, that I'm unable <laughs> to let emotion flow through me and out. Uh, Rahul, it would be really nice to hear the thought process around each hand. Understand it's tough on the hand, but a great learning opportunity for the viewers. Yeah, I usually try uh, quite hard to to talk about why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's a little tougher at No Limit Hold'em because I actually don't play No Limit Hold'em, so I'm doing a lot of guessing, especially pre-flop, but um, I will uh, I will make more of an effort to do that. In PLO, it comes a lot easier to me. Lant, we never see you on stream or TV tables recently. Why not? Poker Go, Hustlers, Live on the Bike. Yeah, so I should, I mean, I should just suck it up and head to LA for Hustler to Live at the Bike. I live in Vegas. Poker Go has not uh, invited me on a show in a long time, um, but I, I know I'd be welcome at uh, HCL or Live at the Bike sometimes. So maybe I just need to, just need to do it. I, I mean, it's so close, Vegas to LA, but I hate to travel and uh, it gets harder with the family, but I, I should just suck it up and, and do it a couple times. I did play, as Moonlight Master points out, I played on stream of Poker Night in America uh, a couple weeks ago. So you can catch that on Poker Night in America YouTube. I think the stream's still up. Quentin, good to see you. Thanks for the good luck wishes. Deuce four offsuit. It's going to hit the muck. Let's check the lobby. I bet there's no action. Yep. Michael B. asking how much these games are. So this is a one on the right right now is a 1K buy-in. No limit hold'em bracelet event. We are still in our, on our first bullet in both, um, but each have multiple re-entries. On the left, we got a $500 buy-in WSOP bracelet event. So two shots at a bracelet. And if you count the re-entries, 
seven shots at a bracelet tonight, perhaps. But obviously, uh, lots of people get lots of shots at it as well. It's easier, easier to win bracelets in uh, high stakes, small field events. King four suited. When did the Annie's kick in over here? I'm hoping they do during this hand. I'm gonna fold King four suited. Okay, next next level. We got Antis. Steve Goldie said, that I'd love to see you reach out and try to get some epic podcast guests on your channel, like Bang Brothers, Tom Dwan, Victor Blom, Phil Ivey, Ben Teller, and Drew Teller, and Ben Solsky. Yeah, they would be interesting to talk to. I am... Um, I could try that. I hate... Um, sometimes I don't like to ask friends for things. But they don't have to do it if they don't want to. Um, why haven't I gone to play at King's Casino or... Uh, why haven't you played Tritons? So, I mean, I don't play Tritons because I'm not a tournament player. I don't play No Limit Hold'em, and those are massive buy-in events. Um, going on like Poker Go or Hustler to play 100, 200, uh, or 200, 400 in games that are not crazy tough, um, despite the fact that I haven't played Hold'em really seriously in 15 years, um, I still think I'll do fine, and that'll be fun. But to go play, you know, 200K buy-in tournaments with, uh, you know, mostly filled with the best players in the world. I'd just be torching money because I don't know what I'm doing. Can we see info tab? Yep. I guess we'll limp queen six if folded two. Fours. It's not actually a great hand at this stack depth. I think. But good enough to open. Hmm. Whatever. Um, yeah, it's fine sizing. Cameron Martin asks, any chance of me playing high stakes PLO on stream this summer? I'd love to. Um, I need I need the games, and then yeah, I think there's a good chance, actually. Um, do I want to bet this? Let's check. Could go either way, but let's just see if we could take this to showdown. So on some lower cards, I might bet the turn, but uh not on this card. It's just like I'm mostly getting called by better hands and folding out worse hands, which is not the worst because he's going to have some outs, but there are actually a ton of straight draws to be had on this board. So I think uh, a lot of his potential air would bet the turn. So I actually feel like we're looking at a, a Jack-10 type hand here. Very, very often. I don't think we're... I don't think we're up against the bluff often enough to call. Need to be right a quarter of the time. I don't know. I think I'm. I think I'm beat. K 
cannot I cannot display the chip amounts in big blinds because I don't believe that's offered on this site. Nope. Thank you, Brent. I appreciate it. Friends for Friends says, Phil Ivey made a good point in an interview of his uh, about playing so much uh, time that became kind of unable to express emotion in life generally. I assume that has crossed. I think sixes are just a fold here. Uh, has crossed your mind as a family man. Yeah, so I, I think poker's made me a little bit less emotional than I was, but I was already pretty even keeled. So I, I don't think it's had a huge, huge impact, but I, I could be wrong because I've been playing poker seriously for um, 19 years. And so, you know, my entire adult life, basically. So who knows what I would have been like as an adult without it. But I mean, at, at 18, I was already, before I found poker, was pretty even keeled. Liz does it ask if I use any special uh, peripherals or just mouse keyboard. Um, when I play, I use Nintendo Switch controllers and Joy to Key software, so my hands can be resting the whole time. Um, when I used to play a lot, I had a an Xbox controller that I would use, um, but I don't play that much currently, and so I'm just using a mouse. Um, but I do like using a controller. Uh, I have bad wrists, uh, which unfortunately I can't lose. Uh, unfortunately, I can't use a controller to. Um, to type and stuff like that. Um, but if I if I were playing, you know, full time these days online, I would get it. I would get set up with a controller again. All right, we're still. Lacking action. At least when we come back uh, from this break, they'll be, I don't know, the blinds are getting somewhat reasonable. Moonlight Master with the Poker Night in America stream. And the smart wink saying safe for later. Stay here. Am I always playing while standing? No, I'm sitting. Um, I do have a standing desk, although I don't mess with it while I'm on stream because stuff will happen. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I actually can stand, like, sometimes if I'm playing a long session and I'm streaming, I will just stand like this, um, which is not super comfortable, but it's not bad to stretch my legs a little. But yeah, I can't stand for, like, I can't stand without moving for an hour either. Um, but switching into... Various stretches um, or just moving around a little helps. Uh, I'm not taking this break again. Strong bladder. Um, let's see here. What can I play? There's, I mean, there's just nothing. I could play some 510 stud, which I don't really know how to do. Oh, they're both sitting out. That still might be fun, though. Let's sit at stud. I'm not good at stud, by the way. You know, oh, this is stud eight. I'm also not good at stud eight, but I'm better at stud eight than I am at stud high. Um, okay. <laughs> There's Omaha eight or better, 100, 200, which I'm definitely very bad at. Maybe we should do that. Okay, no, here, we got a stud opponent. Stud eight. 
We are playing stud eight. Uh, he's bringing in with a deuce. Uh, I think this is actually just fold. But I don't know. Because it's stud eight. And I'm uh, not a stud eight player. Uh, so probably a fold too. Like, it feels like the bring in is, or sorry, the antis are small. So I think having a limping range probably good. I don't know if this is a complete probably. Or sorry, a call. I don't even know the terms, and now I just fold, I think. It's fun, right? So in stud eight, you're trying to make the best... Uh, you're, we're going to get seven cards. You're trying to make the best high hand and uh, low hand, potentially. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, this is the middle of the screen. I guess I'll move it down here, and we can look at this for now. I'll raise the ace against a nine. He's going to fold a lot. He doesn't fold, he might three bet nines. Uh seven five deuce, not gonna fold, not gonna raise. I mean you could raise this, but it's not quite strong enough. Maybe I lead the king, I don't know. We got another player. So I might just raise. So I have decent equity, and I also think um, I can make him fold a lot of stuff. So like now he has to fold a lot of one pair, thinking that I'm going to have two pair in trips a lot. Jack's got to go for it, obviously. Okay. That's not good. You just fold right away with jacks against an ace. He defended out of the bring in, so probably not. Yikes. I'm going to let him have it. Um, it looks like we're going to get a PLO game, so I'm probably going to quit this stud game soon. Although I hope you guys enjoyed me trying to find action. Uh, yeah, let's open the 10. Should take it down here. Nope. Maybe here. All right. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. We got a heads up yellow table, too, so probably. I mean, I'm calling and Hoping for half somehow. Which half did I get? I don't know. <laughs> uh, one sec. All right. I'm going to quit. Uh, let me know if you had a, a ton of fun with this, but I'm going to quit because now I have a heads up yellow table. I actually find these fun to play. Uh, what's going on here? Okay. Okay, I lose. Um, here we get check raised. I think I'm just going to rip it in now. It's a limp pot. Okay, here's a big hand. Uh, and up here, we raise under the gun. We get three bet. I guess we call. It's a weird stack size to navigate. We're going to win this hand. I'm pretty sure. And he's betting big. Um, I mean... I'm not going to raise... I mean, this is weird. Big bet flop check turn. I'm gonna check. I just don't think 
like it's too hard for me to have air. Okay. He had ace 10. Okay. That was could I have gotten a riverbed out of him? Maybe. All right. So how do I want to do this? Sitting at another uh, PLO just in case. It's probably not an open, but here we are. Two pair weak open ender. It's not the worst bet, but I'm just going to check. I'm going to call. Good hand, good blockers. I mean, I don't usually win, but I sometimes win. We got there on the end. Nice hand. Looks like you guys like the stud. Um, sure, let's bet. Yeah, we don't have five card PLO on uh, WSOP.com. I'll show you if something exciting is happening on a, a top table. In the tournaments, that is. But the action is faster and more furious here. I'm going to raise this. It's pretty thin, but... Uh, Check and lose, probably. Yeah, you can have it. Nice hand. Okay, we get clicked back. We're gonna call. We flop two pair. Face a check. It's a pretty good checking hand. Back to our diamonds too, so I'm gonna check. Got away with a bluff on. It was a small pot though. I'm not gonna bore you with it. Now we'll bet. Pot and half pot are both okay here. I think half pot's a little more standard. But it's really hard for a three betting range to have two pair here. He rips it in. We're going to find out what he has. Um, okay, aces. But he got there with the three. Nice hand. Just folding on the top. Nothing exciting. Check. So, I mean, worth noting that he clicked it back. It could have been a misclick, I guess, with aces. Uh, we'll check call. Yeah. 
And I guess, I mean, it's hard for us to not have, I guess I'm going to check call. My note taking skills need an upgrade. Yes, they do. All right, let's see what he had. Nothing. So I was right to potentially let him bluff. Three bet here. Nope. Just going to check fold on king six deuce rainbow. It's not a great board for me. Check the side. Um, it's not a bad calling hand blocking the 10. He's repping a lot of two pair. A lot of kings up bet before this. So I am in a call, but I'm not very thrilled. King Jack, that's sick. Thin value bet. Nice hand. Um, I'm going to check this one back. Uh, betting this is definitely okay. A little bit passive, maybe. So get blown off my hand less often against him. Let's raise a limp. It's not a great hand, but it's you know pretty good against the limp range. And uh, I just checked my full range on 876. Happen to have the nuts this time. I'm not going to make an exception. And uh, I'll just check call. I think, yeah. Uh, I kind of have to hope that he has bases up somehow. Okay, let's head up here where I have ace-king offsuit. Raised under the gun plus one, two callers. Not looking good. Let's pop back down here because we're just going to start with checking ace king and probably check fold. But if something fun happens, you will be the second to know. Now we check folded. Um, just a gut shot, one club. With the king of clubs, I might be more likely to do something crazy here, but. Okay. Can bet or check. I'm going to check. Call. It's an interesting sizing from him. I'm not sure what to make of it. Dustin H said, love the video you and your wife put out recently about relationships and starting out poker players. Thank you very much. I, I do hope to make more like that. Um, we're just going to call. Okay, thin value. That's too thin. We got our game filling up. He's sitting out now. He wanted heads up, which I respect. I'm a heads up player. We're going to lose this table, and we might have to head back to study. Eight. <laughs> Basically have the nuts. Um, I think a small turn, big river. I think going pot pot is too big to go with that hand. Like he just he doesn't need to call with with anything worse by the time I pot river. 
Okay. Go either way on this flop. It's a good turn. Easy call. I don't think this is strong enough to raise. He's repping better at this point. Five seven, five deuce get there. And he keeps on going. Sets can keep betting. Five seven, five deuce, seven eight. He misses. Of a seven, which is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, king 4-7, I'm going to call. Set at 9 is good play, good hand. GG. Halo is not going our way. Lost about a buy-in, I think, between the two of them. Okay, we're back, heads up. Bathroom line, I respect you for being a heads-up player. Some dude's dad, good to see you. Thank you for the good vibes. Okay, two pair. How is this? This is uh it's Martin Zamani. <laughs> awesome, thank you for the action. Um, he had a six, I guess. Tens. Did he bet turns? Not a great turn bet, Martin. Did I bet? Yeah, he bet turn. I guess you get some protection. It's not the craziest bet. Okay, we get three bets small-ish. A little bit bigger than when he had aces. Check two on this board. I mean, we have a really good betting hand. I feel like he's not going to fold enough, but let's try. You're supposed to fold some hands that that are not um, obvious on this board. Check call lead. Six outs or so. 15%. I don't think I can do it. I mean, it's not the worst raise, but I think it's... Uh, I'm just going to let him have it. Limp. It's not a bad turn. He does seem like the type to potentially keep going. Fours got me. Close, I think I check. Call, of course. Showdown, ace 10. Win. Uh, well played by him. I think it's a bad hand to bluff River with. Because he blocks all the straight draws he wants me to have. Everybody, if you follow me on Twitter, check out... Uh, Martin Zamani's response and give him some love for giving us some PLO action for all of us to see.
Okay, another three bet pot. <laughs> another gut shot. Uh, this time a little less good because six gives me the second nuts, not the nuts. Checked two again. A bit bigger this time. I'd like him to fold. <laughs> okay, interesting. I mean, I got the best hand usually. Hmm. Eight nine would play this way. Is he ever calling with worse? I have two threes. I mean, I probably have the best hand, but nine eight. Check. Um, I'm gonna check and win. I just have a weird feeling about it. I'm all right. I'm blasting off up here. So I raised, he three bet, I called, he bet flop, and then he checked the ace. And I think when he checks the ace, he has like queen X or king king. It's hard for me to have air in that spot, so I decided to go for it. He folded turn. half pot decent flop but don't get married to two pair you can get married to boats though I'm actually going to check call I think he doesn't have anything usually and it, he seems like the type to stab too often here when checked too the question is, do I want to raise or call? I think call. Nine, nine, eight, seven. I mean, that's a good example of betting too often there when checked too. So one some back, but I did not, uh, it's not a profitable endeavor. My, uh, my 2550 journey will replace it with another 2550 table just in case get some more action. And back we go to the, how much did you guys like stud? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Do we just play stud or do we play 08? 08's higher stakes. Less fun by a lot. Yeah, let's play stud. Let's do it. All right, if you got, if if you all hate me playing stud, you're going to have to tell me. Cuz otherwise it's just going to keep happening. Okay, we bring it in. Take a limp from the jack. He probably has a good hand. We have... <sighs> Pot odds are so bad. Um, 
I'm such a fish. I don't know. It kind of depends. Like, he should be raising a pair of jacks, so I kind of don't believe that he has jacks. And the question is here. Um, do I want to keep them both? I don't know. I'm going to call. It's bad for me. They're going to try to squeeze me out potentially. Maybe not though, because Pi J is probably behind big fish. I'm going to pretend like I have something to think about just in case that becomes relevant. Um, and I mean, I'm free rolling now because I have the low locked up. He probably has two pair. I'm probably drawing dead for the high. Yeah. Chop it up. Kings. I'm just going to raise. It, it looks like I have a pair if I play. So I think if I'm going to play, I might as well get value. I think I'm ahead. It's too bad. Yeah, I'm playing the guessing game. This is awful. I don't think I could fold at this point. Chop it up. Okay, makes sense. Uh, it's a pretty bad hand. Let's fold. So I do, for those just joining, I do still have <laughs> two WSOP uh, bracelet event tables, but I'm mostly folding, so it's kind of boring. So we're playing some stud high-low. I'm going to call one more and then raise... Uh, Am I going to raise fifth or am I going to raise a safe sixth? I think I'll raise a safe sixth. <laughs> okay, so now I'm not going to raise. So I saved a bet, perhaps. It's not great. Phew. I promise if there's an interesting gnome and hold him hand, you will see it. Raised by a jack. We're going to call our deuce. Uh, check, I think. Bet. Okay, he's got something. Definitely bet here because if I check, he's reasonably likely to bet himself. And now I just bet. If he has me beat, that is. Need to have jacks. I don't know if that was good or bad. Defend. Call. Looking good. So now I bet. Interesting that he checked the ace. Um, I'm going to check back, of course. He's not folding and... My hand is going to lose. Now I'm going to value bet. Beat me. Two pair. Nice hand. He's going to be raising a lot with a king, so... I think attack with the jack. Too bad that he folded.
keep betting. And keep betting. And keep betting. Hope he folds. He did not fold. I could bluff. No, I can't bluff. It looks like I have a low. Could I win with King Queen 9? Probably not, but it's not impossible. King Queen Jack. Probably would have folded that. Let's raise the queen. Interesting. I guess we're raising the king. I folded to, but we have a very bad king. About as bad as it can. I mean, literally as bad as it can be. Play some hold'em. Go either way. I don't know. I think I'm just going to fold, probably. Yeah, I have much better hands to be peeling that with. He made something instead. Eight. He limped 8 versus 6. I'm just going to raise right away because I don't think he has much. Let's just deny his backdoor equity. I'm going to bet one more time because I just don't think he limped with two low cards. And now I have a low draw. Paired. I don't think he has two pair. I mean, I think I'm ahead. So let's keep it up. And now I'm going to value bet. Queen's up. Cool. He actually did uh, limp three low cards, so I was wrong but I managed to win the hand anyways. I'm going to defend the big blind here to a min raise. I don't think it's great, but with the wheel, the ace wheel, it's not terrible. Okay. It's the end of that. So the problem with um, the problem with super multi-way stud is that then you're supposed to remember the dead cards, which I don't want to do. We might have to switch to 08. It's quite a table. <laughs> it's a lot of action I started. Uh, okay. We do still have two tables. World Series of Poker bracelet events. How much left in late reg? 
hour and a half left to late reg this one, two and a half hours to late reg this one. So hopefully we can find a way to get our stack in, but I'm not optimistic. We've lost at PLO. We're down. Oh, actually, we barely lost. So I started today with 45. Seven in my account, and I have 43, four plus I entered in these two, so down like 1k, 1500 at PLO, crushing stud, obviously, up five dollars. Drew wants me to play 08. Poker Kramer asks about Run Once Poker coming to the U.S. That is uh, still in the works. That, that is uh, the aim and the goal and the plan. A couple of eights here. That's the extent of my uh, remembering. Do I want to click? I don't know what I want to do here. When I just call, I look a little bit weak. Because a lot of like three, four, five would be. Might raise, might want to keep it multi way though. Now I have a good hand. Uh, it's only three to a low, four to a flush. I think I want to keep it multi way. I mean, price seems like, priced in seems like they have a pair. I don't know. That's not good. That's not good. I mean, I have to call, hoping for the low, but... Whew. I don't know about my bet there. I, I mean, I don't know about any of these plays, so... All I know is I'm up nine dollars. Eight raises. We're gonna three bat. Because if the eight bricks off, we're likely to uh win the pot. I mean now we have a huge hand. Okay, eight has a made hand. I actually check back. What's my equity? I don't know. I'm gonna lose fours. I think I play that well, actually. Under the gun opens, we call sevens. Middle position, small blinds in there as well. Not, oh, big blinds in there too. I mean, we're going to peel, but. I guess I'm folding player behind me as well. It does seem a, I'm a little suspicious, but not suspicious enough. Um, I've got myself into a dicey spot here. <laughs> But here we are, seeing the river with the best low draw. And we're going to 
lose. We are live. We're live for the high as well. An ace or a, no, no, not a 10, with an ace. The, um, the hand with sevens, the other player folded, so we did not see a showdown. I would be curious if I were you. Hope you all are enjoying the stud eight stream. The uh, the last thing I thought I'd be doing. I mean, I'm still. I haven't even busted a tournament yet. It's just that um, they're going so slowly. I don't know. I haven't just haven't been dealt many hands. I guess we're likely to get all in on the on this table with you know fifteen big blinds. Not this hand, probably. Uh, I think I'm not. So I mean, I I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to open this. I think I'm not going to open it. No, I lied. I'm going to. Because <laughs> I'd like to get... I mean, it's triple re-entry. Um, it's $500 buy-in, so I'd like to gamble it up, get a stack. Gamble it up within reason, so like, not going to call it off here, so I lose the pot, I guess. It's making it small, but I mean, I have seven high. I guess we can we can continue to watch this play out. Nothing's going on down there. Jared, no, they don't have deuce to seven triple draw. I'm actually good at that game. Uh, they do not have it. It's a fun one too. Okay, bring in the jack. I'm gonna lose the pot. I don't think I can defend this against the ace plus any two cards. This is a good hand. I am down $55. No, $50 now. That's stud. He's got a low draw. He's got a low draw. Oh, we're in a shop, I hope. Damn. <laughs> Had a flush draw too. But I think I played it correctly. Once again, I'm an expert at stud. Captain Flapjack says, Phil, I personally miss online poker tournaments so much. I'm legit happy just watching the tournaments, even though you're folding 95% of hands. I hope I'm not folding 95%, but it does feel that way, doesn't it? It doesn't. I just haven't had... Uh, I mean, I opened 7-5 suited, so... I think I just have to peel. And now, I mean, keep peeling. We made a low. Don't want him to bet. Do I want to bet? I don't think so. Do I? Can make him fold something, but I don't know. He scooped me. Just getting wrecked at stud. As I'm supposed to, by the way. I am seeing some viewers drop off <laughs> since we've been in the stud streets. But Dan Eardley says, loving the range of games from you, Phil. Great professional. Just sub. Thank you very much for the sub. We are in a big pot. 
potentially. So I defend the big blind. I call a small bet on the flop. We're facing a big bet on the turn. I'm not optimistic about this, but I'm not ready to fold top pair just yet. Everything gets there on the river. So what do I think he's bluffing with that needs bluff? Okay. Well, river saved me some money. Okay. okay, well, we got the double up, still need a lot of chips. Do we want to switch to limit 08? I really don't like, I actually like it heads up. I don't really like it six handed because mostly because I'm lost all the time and I'm bad at it. Hmm. I can just raise. Just bet through. There we go. Making the comeback. Defend the big blind here with Queen 10 off. It's not my flop. So putting in four bats pre with aces. <laughs> Big fish is forcing it. I'm going to fold queen 10 off. I think we want it heads up, even though Big Fish might have us in bad shape. He's repping trips, I guess. I mean, we're going to call down and lose, I guess. Yikes. Um, is there any folding any rivers or leading river? I don't think I don't think so, maybe. Now we check raise. Um yeah we just keep putting bets in I think house okay it was trips i mean we kind of i wouldn't say we knew that but we thought that i might have to stop with the stud we're losing viewers we are losing viewers playing seven card stud eight or better. I mean, I always get tempted with these hands, but I don't think you're supposed to play them. It's, we can just watch me fold for a while and no limit. I folded ace four offsuit in early position. I folded eight three suited here to a raise in a three bet.
Almost got action at PLL. Somebody sat and left. Threes in the bring in. We're going to bet. We're going to bet. Crushing. Actually, we're down 100. Not fold with the. I mean, it's maybe close against just the open. I don't know. Interesting from Pi J. The deceptive check back with two low cards here. With no high draw. It's not that deceptive, I guess. It's probably standard, but to me, it looks deceptive. We've got eights. We've got 20 bigs. <clears throat> We flopped a set. You play in a nice pot. Jared asks, asks if I play any big live games anymore. No, there's not really anything running um, these days that interests me. Abraham says, play whatever game has the highest stakes, bro. We want to see blood or glory. Yeah, I feel you. There's, I'm, tr I'm trying to sit alone. Open... King six four. Will I take it down here? No, not yet. Take it down here? No. Take it down here? No. I mean, maybe if yikes. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I think it's a fold, actually. Um, I think it's a fold. I'm going to fold. Uh, I forgot he can have a low. That's stupid of me. I should call. He could have had low plus. I just don't. I don't think he was raising. No, I don't. I don't. I think it was fold. I think I was beat. I'm going to fold this ace. Thomas asks, to, or Tomas maybe, why not play PLO on another site? I don't have another site to play on here from the beautiful land of the free, US of A. I don't think I can call Ace 4 off. I mean, I can. Under the gun, it's pretty dicey. It's just... See what happens. This is exactly what we don't want to happen. <laughs> we'll lose a big pot with top pair. That's why you're supposed to fold pre. Let's chop with ace jack. Interesting. Call, oh, there's going to be a little bit. What am I hoping he has? 
same and some kind of bluff with jacks that just got there. Okay. Um, I mean, I still don't need a break, so. He needs to fold here. What do I want now? Please. This might just be an open fold. I don't know. Don't know. Raise, call. That's not good. Clubs are live, though. All right, queens are all dead. This is not looking good. I mean, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. There's no low made yet. So I am playing for the whole pot so far. And now, I mean, I obviously draw to my flush. If I don't make my flush, I guess I fold. Can he ever just have some kind of bluff like like ace king high with a five of hearts three and he's hoping to win the high with ace king and the pot's so big i don't know i don't think i can call it just the nuts i was drawing dead okay I don't love playing games that I'm bad at. But... A few dollars. I can limp behind. He's got a better hand than me. I think it's just a fold. I need some PLO action. I mean, would you rather I play like two five NL? I could do that. <laughs> you guys wanted me to pay the ten dollars. Um, defend here, although it's dicey. We're up against. Oh shoot! I didn't see the the three bet, so this is a terrible call. Terrible, terrible call. This was not me being a huge fish. It was me not noticing that there was a three bet to me. Um, I think big fish doesn't have a low draw, so I feel like I'm pushing equity multi-way. I don't know. 
now I'm less sure. I'm just going to call. Hopefully my seven low is good enough to win. Seven, eight, six. Cool. Just, just some folds up here. Um, let me know and kind of be loud if you want me to play some 2-5 no limit or even 5-10 no limit. We could play 5-10. Instead of this 5-10 uh, stud 8, which is pretty fun. Do I defend just getting a million? I need like a little bit better. Um, I don't know. I should raise her limp. Tanner really asks if ace is uh, high or low. It can be used for both. I think I keep betting here. I definitely keep betting here. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Just lose the pot. Okay. Don't know if this, I mean, it's probably an open rip, but I'm going to min raise. Want some action. Do not get action. Mm -hmm. A little too weak. Queens versus ace king suited. Have I ever licked anything to win before? No, that's the problem. Yeah, global exists doesn't go higher than 1020. Interesting. <clears throat> they should show all the dead cards so people with software. Yeah. Our eidetic memories don't have an unfair advantage. I could see it going. I could see arguments for both sides, but I do kind of like that idea. I haven't v-pipped a stud hand either since we last saw this table. 
I'm going to keep it on the no limit tables for people who join so they know that there is a no limit Texas Hold'em being played. Bracelet events at that. Um, next time, I mean, it's 7 o'clock. These started at 3.30. Next time, I'm probably not going to start until 7, um, unless there's PLO going. How about a boxing challenge? Who would you take from those who have beat you in pots? Is Lodra Patrick, Bill Klein, or Ellie Lazarus? I don't think I would do well boxing against Patrick. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's just call. So I don't know if we raise or call. I'm going to raise. It kind of looks like we have a high. And now I probably just bet. Do I bluff? Well, now I'm value betting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. OK, we're seeing some. No limit hold them, no limit hold them, anything but no limit hold them. A lot of people saying 510 NL. All right, let's play some 510 NL, guys. We, uh, the response has been overwhelming. I, I mean, stud is fun. Don't get me wrong. I don't know if I'm supposed to play this yet. All right. We're going to play some 510, no limit, Texas hold them. And the table going to fill up. That's my prediction. Oh, look at that. Someone sat instantaneously. Is that kind of software allowed on WSOP.com? The fastest I've ever seen someone sit at any table. King seven off, don't know. Don't know, seems close. Ace pour off, I don't know. Wilfram says, Phil, honest opinion about being approached at. Um, at WSOP while walking around, I'd love to say hi, pay respects, don't want to bother. Um, I never mind, uh, never bothers me for somebody to say, hey, um, what do I want to do here? I go half pot. Um, yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. If I'm, I reserve the right to say, "Hey, I'm in a rush." <laughs> if it looks like I'm in a rush, maybe not. But otherwise, yeah, totally cool. Because uh, oftentimes, walking the hall, I'm heading to dinner. Or sorry, well, if I'm heading to dinner, uh, then you're in a rush. But uh, if I'm heading to the bathroom, you know. But yeah, um, you're never gonna get you're never gonna get yelled at. And uh, generally speaking, would love people to come say hi. Is Queen 8 off soon? A jam? 10 big blinds deep? I think it's probably not, but I'd like to, I'd like to get something going here. Okay, two live cards. Two dead cards. It's not going to be me. Okay. But we do get to rebuy. All 
right. As predicted, 510 table filled up. See, I lost the pot up here and I have more chips. It's kind of like a free roll. We've got three tables going. Let's see if our viewers start climbing now that we're no limit Texas Hold'em only. Uh, there is 510 PLO run. No, huge wait list. I don't really want to bother. You know what? I'm going to leave the... 1020 lobby, see if, or like 1020 table and see if that gets people from 510 moving up there. But I'm not going to hold my breath. He's eight suited. King's Eagles off if we get folded to. I don't know. I want to see if you can stack up, up against these GTO sickos. I feel like I could do pretty well heads up, but six handed, I think I'm going to get a little bit wrecked. Um, big blind defends. I think I probably want to bet a lot of hands when the big blind defends here. Interesting. I don't know why I don't believe this. I'm, I mean, I'm such a station. I'm calling both. Problem is, he could have just like King Jack, and if I bet small here, just go for it. I keep calling Queen Jack suited. He's potting, which is interesting. I mean, I beat his bluffs. It's actually not a good card. <laughs> It'd be a funny call putting on King Jack suited. Um, what do you have? Why did you check the turn? I guess to get me to do that. King Jack. I mean, it's very believable on the bottom right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to call it ace high. It seems a little too crazy, but 
I'm pretty weirded out by the turn check. I'm very weirded out by the turn check. Um, Jack doesn't really help. I don't think we're going to see Jack 8 here, although for this sizing, maybe. But no, he's put so much money in. Uh, um, Jack 8, Jack 9. Would he bet this or bet smaller? I think he should bet smaller. Eight, nine, five, six. Uh, I guess I'm going to call, but I, I don't feel great about it. Yeah. I don't know why, why is it not rebuying? Okay, we'll just, we'll just buy it for the max. Max Payne. Why is it not doing it? Um, so nothing's really going well, as you can see. I don't think this man has ever raised his voice over 60 decibels. I don't know what 60 decibels uh, is equivalent to. And, uh, well, I was going to say in voice terms, but just at all. But yeah, I'm not much of a yeller. I actually can't, like, don't think I can yell. At least never have. Sometimes... Farah, my wife, asks me, you know, if I was standing in the street and a car was coming for me, would you would you scream so so it didn't hit me? And I'd say I I, I would try. I would definitely try. I wonder if there's a fish at this five ten NL table or if these guys are all sick OWSOP grinders. What are your thoughts? I'm the fish. I think they're probably all uh very good. No limit hold'em cash players. Drawing Dad. I like that screen name. Okay. Couple of King Queens. That's good. I wonder if this ever four bets when you're this deep. Not gonna. Nice hand. Why is there not auto rebuy? And I can't even make it work. Okay. All right, here we go. One pair. Mm, let's just pot. We got called by Ace Ten High, non believer. That's good.
Queen four suited is going to get ripped. Nope, it is not. How long do we have to re-enter this two more times? 41 minutes. I can do that. Phil, what are your thoughts on how commonplace RTA is in the high stakes online heads up NL? And these sick battle sick battles with the best versus best. I think probably not that often because the best players in the world can if they're playing heads up, I think they can often tell uh if they're being RTA'd. And so they wouldn't continue playing against somebody who that who was RTAing for at least like they would at least be uh, suspicious. Defend the big blind here on, from an under the gun min raise. I don't know if that's solver approved or not. Speaking of RTA, and we'll shove queen six suited if we get to. I guess I'm check calling this. Um, it's not the worst bet. Let's make him think there's more to play for. Um, yeah, I don't feel good about this queen four, but I guess I'm calling. Queen four is going to win against King Jack. Makes perfect sense. Ace nine offsuit. Is this a rip? I don't know. We got it in good. We didn't win though. Yet. No, we're not gonna win this one. All right, bullet number three out of four. We had about a half hour to get our last bullet in. I will do what I can. Uh, probably bet a little bit of everything against the big blind. At least on the top left, we're now in 
you know, the blinds are meaningful. So get some stuff going. Brandon Brown asks a cool question. Um, if you were to play NL, would you approach the game the same way you approach PLO, or would you take a more GTO approach, given that the best players are playing closer to GTO and no limit? Um, I don't know if this is a call or a fold. I, uh, I'd probably play uh, pretty similarly to the way I play in PLO. I don't ignore optimal play in PLO, and I study it, but I deviate a lot, and that's probably what I would do with no limit as well. Uh, ten seven suited. I think it's just a call. It's not like if you have specific reads on somebody, it's a pretty decent hand to shove. But you don't have specific reads on anybody. Two times pot. We have a pair. I don't think we rip this in though. Did we just rip it in? I don't know. I don't think so. He's betting big, so he's like, well, polar, kind of. And now we're going with it. I think we might win this one. Key. I don't think he has an overpair. I don't think he has a jack. A block of seven and a ten, so maybe I'm supposed to check this, but he's not going bet check bet, so I'm just gonna bet. Makes a lot of sense as for the bet flop check turn. Why? Did not believe me, and we have our first little bit of a stack. Meanwhile. AK on the B. I mean, we're cold for betting. I don't know about sizing, but I think imposition seems appropriate. Drawing dad in the tank. Smells like a four bat. Okay. Um, we're deep enough that I'm pretty comfortable calling here. I mean, I'm behind his range because his bluffs are like king queen off. But I still think I can call in position and flop the nuts. If he has king queen off, he's almost drawing dad. That's big. Um, I mean, definitely not raising. But I wonder what to make of that. It feels like queens to me. Or that just might be his only sizing. Okay, I mean, just call again, obviously. If he has a bluff, I think, well, SPR is a little low. I think he's going to go for it. But what do I know? It's weird with half pot left. I mean, I don't think he has a bluff. I think he has kings.
That's too bad. Maybe hit a 10. Okay. Bad read by me. I was not kings. We still won the pot. We lost a small pot here while we were flopping the nut full house. Um, I don't know. This is a little too big, actually. I should have just gone with the 52 that it was given me. Okay. Take it. Brent Gaylor says, do you think streaming affects your play positive or negatively? Has to have an effect, right? Yeah, I think it affects negatively. Although in a spot like this with tournaments where I am pretty bored, um, seven, six suited. I don't know if I'm supposed to, yeah, I mean, Ray's gotta be fine. Um, in a spot like this, it doesn't have too much of an impact, I think. But I mean, it's negative. I don't know about this flop bet. It seems fine. Ace on the turn. Do I want to bluff with this? I don't know what happens in theory. It's not ridiculous. Um, Interesting. I mean, I'm not going to win a showdown almost ever. 10, 9, 10, 8, 9, 8, that somehow d decides not to bluff. So I bluff 7, 6. What is he repping? Ace 10, Ace Queen. King Jack. Six five suited, six four suited. He has those pre. I don't know. I think it's a fold.
But yeah, streaming um, definitely makes, it makes it hard to, I don't know how to put it. Basically, when I'm playing without streaming, there's like a zone uh, that I can get into that I can't if I'm talking. And if I, I guess if I know the camera's on me. King 7 offsuit, I don't know. I think I've said that before in the exact same spot. Jets087 says, no PLO? No, I would love to play some PLO. I'm sitting alone at several tables. It's just not, just not happening for me. 9-8 suited. Gonna peel. See if we can make something happen. We are facing an under-the-gun raise. We cannot make something happen when Michael Bluth goes all in. Too bad. So opening these PLO tables in case they get running. Because people are leaving 510, so maybe, maybe. Um, I do need to give a little thought to what hands I want to 3-bet out of the big blind. I mean, I did 3-bet like a... Standard-ish suited connector. So maybe I'm not three-betting polarized. Down with Queen Jack suited. Orang says it'd be nicer to see what Farah is up to, TBH. Farah is playing the 5K No Limit Hold'em event, World Series of Poker event, at the Horseshoe. She's not live streaming it, so I think you're not allowed to. And also because she doesn't want to. So there's a 10-20 game going. I'm going to wait till it fills before I sit because, you know, let's just see the action here. We get it in. Wow. So, I mean, the thing worth noting is that he's potting the absolute super nuts on this flop, which I would have found a way, I would have found a way to have a different size, I guess. I don't know about this open. Ace 10 feels like an open. Uh, here with King Queen, we're going to have to call for the best. Not the best so far. Not the best. Not the best.
Okay. That PLO table broke, by the way, so we're not going to be getting our, our dream of a single 1020 PLO table. Um, I mean, there's lots of stuff that I could have here. I guess actually not a ton of stuff, but some stuff. King nine, black five suited. Run out. King queen, what do I want to do here? I'm going to start with a check. I think I'm going to check raise. Because people on queen four three like to stab their sixes to protect their hand. And now, unfortunately, he's not going to bet sixes if check two. So, so what am I to do? Okay. this no I'm pretty lost over here with King Queen to be honest I think if I shove it's gonna look not believable but I don't know how how hand ready he is because I'm not gonna bet big on the turn with a queen and I probably not gonna shove ace king am I I don't know but on the other hand people don't like to call shoves so speaking of which shoving sixes all right, we did get called. Did not believe me. Hit it in flipping. And we win. Two big pots going our way. And we are in business. No limit hold'em business. Well, so we're in for three bullets. We almost have three bullets worth of chips. Hasn't been a total loss. We're six handed. Do I add another? Oh, there's actually another, um, there's another five ten table with a huge wait list. That means that someone bad besides me might be playing. So I'll get on the wait list, but I mean, it's eight people long. I'm sure you're about to see Jeremiah Williams in your game shortly to play with him. Yeah, I know Jeremiah. I mean, I, I that was the first time I met him at the stream house, but uh, we talked a little bit. Here we're facing a massive all-in. Should be um should be paying more attention to the showdowns and stuff and taking notes, but I will do that, you know, if we get deep into these things. There are still a ton of players left. 444 in the 1K, 630 in the 500. We're not exactly close to a final table. Um, Jax, I'm just going to call. Unfortunately, King 10, we're going to have to get out of the way, I think. Yeah. 
he is only making it four, so it's three more to call, but I don't know. I don't know. If I had something suited, maybe. Uh, I was in good shape, actually. So I was hoping maybe a 14k stack would shove, but instead we got this small blind three betting for a third of their stack. This is a really, this looks really strong. Looks really, really strong to me. I think I'm just going to fold jacks. I think I'm beat. Um, I think I'm beat. Trust your gut. All in. Yeah, you can win. Do we need another table? Ah, oh, do we need another? I mean, I can, the power of being a fish, I could just sit at another 510 table and it'll form. I could sit at a 1020 table and it'll form. Nines. I saw a table forming. I was mistaken. It's too bad. Yeah, let's just play another. It's for you, for all you watching, joining me. I appreciate you being here. I'm gonna see if I can lose some money at 510 No Limit for you. But the great thing about poker is that you can win. I could win. It's not filling because they don't notice. They just assume it's somebody good sitting alone. And so nobody's opening the table. But if they're watching the stream, then they'll know in five minutes. Start the countdown.
Frank Gaylor says, let's be real. Nobody wants to heads up Galphon PLO. There are some people that do. And I've, I've gotten action on streams before as high as 100, 200, I think. But, um, all right, open, three bet, jam. We're probably going to get to see what he's three betting. It seems like lip ring Brad has been pretty aggressive. Although, if we call and see kings, it's not going to be much information. Aces. Aces and a lip ring. And he's going to take it down. Still nobody yet. Another 510. Actually, I am I'm going to take this break in two minutes to say goodnight to my son. So I'll join the vanilla mint table after that. Hopefully somebody will be patiently waiting for me. Uh, King six suited. Eh. Seven five suited. Nah. Why are the stacks represented with dollar signs in the tournaments? I don't know. They should not be. Um, it's probably a software thing. I mean, it's definitely a software thing. <laughs> but I think probably they just only have it so that it can have a dollar sign next to it. It's not and decided it wasn't that big a deal. How did I get in? So we had open, jam. Oh, that's standard stuff. I am playing cash games. I'm playing one cash game on the bottom right. Um, not on the, this view. Uh, one cash game on the bottom right. I'm going to join another when I get back, but there's about to be a five minute break. And I'm going to take it to say goodnight to my son. And uh, so if you leave during a break where I'm saying goodnight to my son, you're kind of rude. So you have to stay. Break is soon. Any PEDs for the WSOP? I assume that's performance enhancing drugs. None for me, no. Unless you count pocket sevens. Interesting. I think I probably want to blast off. Not feeling great about it. We will do this and then take our break. Oops. Um, like a lot of King Jack of Spades, I just check on the flop, I think, maybe. So I think it looks believable. All right, we have four minutes. I'm going to leave this open so that you guys know there's action to get back to. I'll be right back.
Hello, hello. Now the whole game breaks when I sit out, of course. Um, still on the wait list for the other. Do I just join a 1020? Lance is asking me about a poker after dark hand where I had a 10 9 full house versus Patrick Antonius on ace 10 9. And he fired all three and I called down. Why did I call him so much? I don't remember the hand. So if you can find a, um, a link to it uh, somewhere, which is probably hard, or um, even a photo, then um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll recall. Right now, I do not. I mean, I'm trying to get two tables of 510. I think after the break, we'll come back probably. If not, we have to go play 1020. It's not looking good for our no limit hold'em action. That might mean I'm playing okay, which I guess is good. I don't know. Okay, they're probably coming back. No? So I don't want to sit at the short table because I don't want $400 stacks at no limit. Um, we're going to play 10 20. I'm really not good at no limit hold'em. So this is, this is all for you. Um, all right. Ten twenty. no limit, Texas hold'em heads up. Thirty. I think pretty clear check. Um, check call, I think, on the river. I think. That's not the worst. That might be better. He's going to value bet perfectly. Let me check. Okay. I guess I'll start raising to 45 if... What do I three bet to? I don't know anything. I guess we'll go down here since it's heads up and I don't know if Jack fives a call or not. The table's not filling, which I mean is better for me. I'm better shorthanded at games that I'm not good at. But I 
Jamming small blind versus big blind up here. I thought you'd care more about that. Than... Okay. Checking back the turn with ace 10. It's your betting flop. Showdown. Cool. I think you're supposed to three bet all your suited aces. Definitely can't be bad. It's a good turn. Um, Not sure if I want to raise or call. I feel like sixes should be a raise also. We are deep, which I think makes it more of a raise than a short. Um. Hope you are enjoying the heads up, uh, whatever this is. <laughs> heads up, 1020, no limit action. I'll let you know when something goes on, on on one of the tournament tables up top. Show this down and uh, opening on both tables. Is this the big blind? Yeah. Uh, I got a call here. Okay, looking pretty good up there. Not sure getting in bad. Do I call with a gut shot for third pot, I guess? Ah, oh, we get raised. Um, I'm not happy. Maybe I just fold outright, I don't know. Definitely just call on the bottom. All. I don't think we want to raise, although I feel like he put more money in with King Queen. But he's not going to call a seven, anyways. Okay. He's the tiny bet. What is going on up here? What is going on? Jack 10, maybe? If so, we need a nine. Mm, not a 10. I might have bluff jammed if check too. Um, what is with the small bet on the turn? What is with the small bet on the turn? Wow. I don't know why this is, um, why I find it suspicious, but. Jack, no, not ace jack, not jack nine. 
King X makes the most sense, of course. Extracted. Um, just a king makes a lot of sense. So why do you bet so small on the turn? That's the weird thing. 5-5, five, five, king 5. It doesn't have queen, queen. I'm not supposed to call this hand, but I'm like very suspicious getting 2 to 1. Why did he go so small with value or a bluff, though? He's X, X of clubs, maybe? I don't know. It's it's too much to call with. Um, is this a raise? I guess I'm going to jam sevens. I don't know about that nines hand. I'm suspicious, but... It, I just can't think of any hand that wants to bet that small on the turn, like value or bluff. We got a min raise off of. Okay. I don't bother with the donking turn nonsense. It's just, it's just too much to think about. Um, guess I call. And then on the top left, it feels kind of close. It's a weird spot with ace queen. Um, he's shoving. Yeah, I don't think I can fold. <laughs> I guess I call it off now. It's too bad. I um, guess I'm folding ace-10. Right. All right, how long till we can, can we still rebuy in this? Because we got one rebuy left. Oh no, we cannot rebuy. This is the end. This is the end of us, potentially. I could bet twice, or I could check. I'm gonna check. Doesn't really matter. says there's another game starting, but I can't. Where is it? It's a good fall. Okay, we're jamming threes. Um, three, four. I don't know. Let's play weird. 
six off is not a shove. Happy to get the other one through. Hmm. Fish about smaller, maybe. Probably should have bet smaller. It says there's a table and I open it and it won't open, so it's weird. Okay. I mean, one table that heads up is plenty of action, and I guess if this fills up, I can start another one. A7 off. I think it's a fold under the gun. No, we're about to be in the blinds. Uh, obviously, this hand's four bet sometimes. Um, do I see that range? I mean, I have such a big range advantage. All the sets. Do I bet and check river? Or do I check and check river? I don't think I can bet this again. When this much money goes in. My hand looks like exactly what it is, unfortunately. I mean, call. Okay, so 10 10. Is he bluffing Jack 10 suited and. King Queen, and he's not bluffing King Queen off, obviously. Um, I don't know. I really don't know about this one. Probably supposed to call in theory, but who cares about theory? Maybe I should. 10 9 suited, 10 8 suited. King 8 suited, King 9 suited. All right, whatever. I wanted to jam this. Now I can't. Well, I could. I'm allowed to, but I think it would not be good. The big bet. There's another table going. Are they heads up or what? I'm 
not very happy about this, but I can't fold yet. Well, I mean, I could, but I don't think I should. Here we go, a 9-8 suited. Nice. It's always nice to get the jam through when you have 9-I. Okay, we're calling 8. We need to have, like, 35% equity here. Do we have 35? Yeah. Doing okay against that. Um, what did he have down here? Win that one. 9-7 with a 7 of diamonds. Okay. A little surprised he didn't go for it. Shove ace 9. All the shoves are getting through, uh, which I just jinxed myself on. But. Just draw my wedding ring. Don't tell Pharaoh. My other ring back on so I can play with that. Um... Reffing better than my hand, but I don't think I can fold a pair. Oh, the table opened all the way over there. I don't think you guys are saying freestyle is, freestyler is going to quit me. I don't think he will. I'm not a no limit player, and presumably he is. Do I shove ace nine under the gun? I don't think I do. Do I? Last hand, seven, river to pair. Hey, there's a PLO game. And now we got a little bit of everything. I think fives are just done. His queen off just gets ripped on the top right. Definitely does now. Well, maybe actually it's a little awkward because he covers me, but. I don't think he's slow playing better. So. Wow, fives wins against a flush draw or a gut shot. Under pair? Let's see. King high flush draw makes a lot of sense. Ace queen off, we get it through. That's a good result. Infinite book asks, how's the challenge with Jungle Man going? Um, we're just about even. Jungle Man's up, I mean, a very small amount. 
this a limp? This is a bet check bet right here. Well, even more of a bet check bet now. Did I win that pot? I did. It's, whoa, okay. We're opening wide at this table, I see. Uh, he overbets, so I don't think I can raise. I think the ace jack I could. Okay. Fold. It's loose. It's queen three off of fold. Anybody know? King, king queen seven. Um, I don't really know about that. Let's just call king seven suited. Jam, ace, jack, king, seven's a fold, I think. And here we're facing a bet. Getting it through again on the top left. Just going to believe him. I opted to believe him there. I don't feel like he's three-betting me that much. I thought these guys were supposed to three-bet a lot. I guess I'm opening that. It's probably not an open. It's tempting with four or five suited because everything keeps getting through, but I'm not going to do it. Probably win with ace king, but it seems kind of thin to value bet. Man. Raz says I can sit out uh, NL now. If there's another PLO table, then I probably will. But right now, I'm liking having some action. Uh, I don't think I'm folding this yet. Okay, six, seven. I don't. Should I jam this? Eh, I don't know. Now I kind of just wish I jammed pre, so I could fault middle pair and not have to think hard. Uh, he checks back. I have to have the best hand, right? Mm. 
He's repping like 9-8, I guess. 9x. Uh, I don't know. Nine eight exactly. All right. Good read. Bad call. Uh, Hurricane. Hold base three. Very reasonable call. I mean, we got to go another bet, I assume, but. I'm not really looking to get stacks in. Interesting fault. It's not a great flop for my range. He seems to know that as well. All right, he can have it. He says, would you play JW? What does that mean? Is that a person? Oh, Jeremiah Williams. Well, I mean, I don't know who this guy... I, I'm playing whoever right now. I would play anybody at 1020 right now in this very moment, but that doesn't mean um, that I expect to be a favorite. Okay, good flop up here. I don't know if I want a better check. Okay. If you, if you couldn't tell, I always kind of want a slow play. <laughs> Call King Jack here. Small blind comes along. Not really sure what to make of this. Well, I mean, there's nothing to make of anything. And we'll be calling that king four. I'm going to let him have it. I don't know.
Yikes. Did not expect him to keep betting or want him to keep betting. I guess I could say the same on the bottom too. I'm low on time bank here. I think I call one more, but I, I am not even thrilled about calling the turn. Maybe the river will save me some money, but I don't know. It's pretty hard for him to have a six. A6 suited. I don't think he's betting 6-6 six, six on the turn. Hmm. Ace deuce still shoves probably when they getting here this way. Yeah, I have no time bank. Why is he betting turn? I don't know. I didn't think he was bluffing the turn, so how can I call the river? Should probably just fold the turn. It's a bad flop for ace queen. Um, this kind of seems like he's folding, but. Yeah, call. I don't feel like a fold is coming, so I'm not going to bet my five high, six high. I don't know here. I don't think he's folding, but I, I don't know if I have odds. It's too bad. I mean, it's good. <laughs> it's too bad he didn't bet. He had a queen. No, he was bluffing with Jack-10, did not consider bluffing River, and he value bet the turn with the best hand, which is why I should, I guess, shove the turn. Uh, Ace-10 off, I think, just gets ripped. I mean, it definitely is supposed to. I'm just trying to think if there's any reason not to. I can't think of one. Okay. We can both make the straight. Okay, that's fortunate.
It's maybe too big. I don't know. Stacks are good for it, I think. I'm just going to fold four deuce here. Well, they're going to get to see my hand. And here. Overbetting. Interesting. I don't know. Just believe it somehow. You can hit a gut shot, right? Wrong. Fours are a weird hand with this this stack configuration. Um, interesting. tell them my hand. Uh, and here, I don't know what to do. No time bank. Okay, check here with fours. Do I want to try to bluff him off of something? I don't know. I guess not. Let's go for it. Repping aces. Or king queen. King jack is king. I think that on the five, I don't know. If he knows me well enough, he might know that I'm a PLO player, and I might check a lot on that turn. So I think there are a lot of value bets on the river that he can give me credit for. Jesper ask any chance of a WSOP main event this year? It's possible. It's possible. So Jacks, when we're 200 big blinds deep, not really sure. Probably still raise, right? This is my third four bet in like two hours, so. Take it down with queens. Not what I was hoping for exactly, but. Are we like at any significant point, like near the money or something? 343 remaining, 240 pay, so not quite. I don't know. 
I want to make sure he doesn't fold. I have small bets and big bets here, I think. I do in PLO, certainly. I really want to play a pot with, you know, but. I don't know about the top left. Really don't know. Okay, I mean, there are worse rivers. Okay, we call that. Half pot, I don't know if we call king nine. We can call like quarter pot. It seems, seems like a little dangerous. I, I don't know, we're probably supposed to. All right, well, this tournament's going well now. What are we? 53 out of 370, 337. Can't read. Keeps keeps blasting turns. I keep folding. Mean too suited. Okay, good. Didn't want to have to play that. I mean, I never would have had to, but didn't want to have to decide. I have to fold five high, the best five high, but. I think Kings is just a fold against a short stack three bet out of the big blind. Fives is kind of a weird one. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, um, it's a fold. Let's investigate. Says I told people on Twitter he's playing for two WSOP rings bracelets actually, but thank you. Yeah, we're it's it's uh we don't have as many viewers as I'm used to, but I mean probably a lot's going on. It's WSOP time. This is probably a fold with queens, actually. But couldn't do it. I mean, this is a call. OK. 
Okay, interesting. Some flips there. I guess we're calling this $726 shove. Interesting. Could Hurricane fold? Yeah, maybe. I thought I was going to... Suck out and hold. I didn't deserve it, but it felt like felt like it was coming. Okay. Okay, we're gonna lose our heads up. No limit action. I'm gonna fold this river. Although. Yeah, whatever. That ace king on the top is not really solver approved, I think. But I don't know. I just felt like it. So 14, I think I have to call queen eight suited. Two to one. Okay. Not the worst spot. Just need to hit one of my outs. Thought I was going to hit there too. I'm actually value betting this ace king high. Oh, I didn't know that was Jeremiah. Cool. He played very well. Um, it'd be fun to, to battle some other time, but... Now I got the games I wanted. Yeah, the King-9 suited with diamonds feels like a mandatory call. I'm not sure either. Not my games. No limit hold them from Texas. Look at that hurricane up to 67k after I almost busted him. If you defend, I think, but here we are. I'm not even sure this is a call, to be honest. Call one. Oh. A little bit suspicious of this. I'm not going to call with, with my hand that bad, though. Hmm. 
Mm, okay. I thought it, I did. I did think about raising my ten just because. I know I thought he might have a bluff, and then I also thought he might have like a flush going for one street, like king high raise high flush going for one street. Here we're gonna peel. I mean, it's not. It's not pretty. And now I guess we're going with our hand. Is there any reason to not like? Well, to do what I just did. He probably has a little too little too weak here. Okay. Yikes. That's <laughs> a big hand to be up against. 10, 10, 9, 8. I guess my measly 9, 8, 7. Did not have many wins there. Or I mean any wins there. 7-7 seven, seven is what I needed. Jack Open Ender will bet. Jack Open Ender, double gut shot. I don't know, I'm going to bet. I can make some better Jack X fold and... um. I don't know, good stuff can happen. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize that. My 9-7 didn't give me extra outs. But here we are. Oh, poker go is streaming something. That makes sense. All right, four minute break, but I'm gonna keep playing these PLOs. We don't need any bathrooms. Oh, okay. Two set draws. Hit one of them. Great spot to be in stack wise because if he like pot commits and Ari has top pair, he's not gonna fold. Okay. Nice. Guess we fold jacks on 965 hard heart. Oh, poker goes screaming streaming stud. Well, that's that was why I shouldn't have streamed stud. stud. That was my mistake. Okay. <laughs> um, blockers are not great. I mean, they're okay to block good ace X, but. Like this game's gonna break. No, he's back. What are we down today? We're down four K, but we have these stacks in play, which are worth probably around that. Heroics asks, uh, Phil, what's your target? Let's try that again. Heroics asks, Phil, what's your target VPIP on a six-handed PLO table? Must be extremely low to fold kings pretty. Um, bad kings get pretty weak. I think, I actually don't know what a target VPIP is. Maybe 30? Percent, 32. But I'm a little rusty. I, I mean, probably play half my hands on the button, defend the big blind a decent amount. 38% in the cutoff, I'm guessing, but 
seems about right. You can check if anybody here can check vision. You can see the open raise by position, which should give you kind of a good idea. Abraham saying, stay in your lane, bro. Ask a real question if you want a real answer. Let's be kinder to each other in, in the PG stream chat. All questions are welcome. And there are no lanes. Yeah, so kings, I think maybe there was an under the gun open and I had a king, king, queen, x, rainbow, under the gun plus one. And it's like, uh, even if I'm ahead, I'm not doing well equity-wise against that open and my hand doesn't play well multi-way. It doesn't play great multi-way. So with players behind me as well, it's just not that appealing. Okay, small blind raises and then check calls this flop. Really like to get him to fold now. So let's try. Now we show down four deuce. I think I'm like 40% to win. King three, nice hand. Did not hit our outs. Looks like this game's going away. And a new game has begun. Kind of gross betting into three people. Um, Did he have jack-10 somehow? Jack-jack-king. Makes a lot of sense. I think he needs to call that. Well played by him. Uh, let's complete, which is iffy. Gonna win queen eight, I guess. Cool. King queen, like nothing missed on this board, so I don't think I can get value from king queen. 
Okay, there goes that table. Yikes. It's potting, it's pretty uncomfortable. Maybe it's just a fold to pot in theory, I think it is. In practice, I don't know. Um, good small bat, good check. Believe him. I think I believe him. Could he have the same hand and be going nuts? Ten of hearts. Ten X of hearts. Check turn. All right. Sneak in there with 10 4 suited. It's not our fault. Key. Nice hand. You're very welcome, Heroics. All right, let's defend. and Let's zoom in for once. Let's... I knew it. I knew we needed to see this closer. I don't know. I think that seems fine. Uh, Jets asks the top two are tournaments. Yes, they still are tournaments. Left table is the $500 no limit hold'em bracelet event. Right table is the $1,000 no limit hold'em bracelet event. And we have a few chips and a chair in both. So in this one, we've got 278 players remaining. I'm gonna keep that over here because we're approaching the bubble and that might become relevant. I mean, it will become relevant. And then this other table. This 
Still 688 players. It's 120 played, so long way to go. Defend the big blind against this loose opener. Flop two pair and a weak open ender. Uh, check call, check, check turn. We're going to check river. Luca asks if I use different sizing for six max compared to heads up. Says I don't remember using 75% pot on the river heads up. Yeah, you're right. I, I tend to not do that. Um, I don't really know my sizings for six max, and so I make them up as I go. He's queen nine six. Okay. Gary Clark, would you consider yourself a pot limit specialist? Yes, I would. Pot limit Omaha specialist. Not necessarily by choice at this point. I'd like to learn some no limit hold'em, but I don't have a great reason to. Hmm. He did see me three Benham light before. Let's just call this one. Don't want to not see a flop, but Jack 10 suited. It's not my flop. I'm probably going to bet twice, actually. I think he'll fold the turn a lot. Call me crazy. I don't think he's going to fold the flop very often, but. Hmm. Part of the reason I thought he'd fold the turn is that I thought he would raise some good hands on this flop. Um, what happened here? I must have opened. I guess I check. It's not the worst hand to bet. But he doesn't seem super foldy, so. Now I check, decide, probably. I mean, I'm not going to call. I could raise. He shouldn't be value betting like kings here, I think. Maybe. It's just kind of weird. What are you value betting that you didn't bet the turn with? But what did you call flop with? That needs to bluff. That's the, the bigger question, I guess. Would have been me, Queen Deuce offsuit. don't think we get to call king four suited. I don't think we get to call a six here for pot.
rubber fist opens, I don't think we can rip this many big blinds. It's just feels too ambitious, isn't it? too much, but I am going to call. A bigger bet than I was hoping to see. Not folding yet, back to our stuff, but. Now I'm happy, I think. <laughs> I think probably he's just betting big and committing with jacks. Yeah. I think I just jam here. I don't, like, I could see myself losing action on a lot of cards. I don't think he's, like, going to hero fold. I mean, he might, but. Just, just quads. It's a very lucky turn for those not paying attention. We'll stay on the same table and open a beautiful ace three of spades. <laughs> on um on the other table, the other tournament, uh this guy just had quad fives as well. It was all in pre. I had to fold fours. Gonna zoom out because we have some more stuff going on. Okay. Yeah, queen's on the top. I call three bet with a seven. And now we just have to go with it. Hope he wasn't paired yet. I hope he certainly was, and we're drawing dead effectively. But nothing I can do there. Um, know about this turn spot. Oh, slow rolling queen. Sorry, he's probably going to win because of that. No, he's probably not going to win. Okay. Going slow. Are people stalling, I guess? Because we're 18 away from the money on the top left. Yeah, I think we're stalling. Okay. Not a great flop. He 
can have it. Raise, call, call. I'm going to check this back. And we're going to lose this pot somehow. Not going to bluff without a club. Wow, I had the best hand on the turn. I was not expecting that. We'll stay on the same table, I guess. Now we just call and see if we flop something and and get all our chips in if we do. Kind of do. I guess I lead. Yikes. 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 I had hope there on the turn. Crushed by ace high on the flop. Queen nine. Let's go for it. Players are left here. Still 688. Oh no, 300. Right? But I'm, I have a lot of chips. That's cool. Uh, Heidi's asking if the king nine against my quads was a little spewy. No, I think it's good. Half to bet flop, half to bet turn, half to call off in theory. You could consider, um, you can consider folding if you think I'm not capable of shoving many worse hands, which a lot of people aren't. Um, but at that point, his pot odds were so good. And it's possible that I just have like nine, seven there, which, uh, his top pair got shot and just, you know. It's like, well, if if he's got me, he's got me, and I stick it in. So it'd be a disaster to fold king nine when you're actually beating a, I mean, quote unquote value bet. It's just like a shrug shove with nine seven. It's a pretty bad hand to be three bet with, but here we go. Flop a pair. It's pretty ugly. Call up here, of course. Pots on the bottom left. It's not good. Um, I think it's just a fold. I think it's a fold. I need 40% equity. I think I have like 37 or 35. You guys in checks.
What are you representing? I think he would have bluffed earlier. I don't know. I don't know him very well. But... He could have won against that at some point, but... It's not a great hand to bet on flop or turn. Do I have bracelets? I have three bracelets. Um, never in an online event. Maybe tonight's the night. We're not doing great in the cash game streets, y'all. We're down... Well, we're down 6K, but we have these tournament buy-ins included in that, so. Tempting to limp a seven off so I don't get shoved on by the 40K stack, I don't know. It's probably dumb. Let's try it. Some more water. He hasn't snap folded, so that's bad. Usually they snap fold if they're going to fold. Unless, unless I, if you go all in and they tank, then they're folded because they snap call if they're going to call. Any eight, seven, double. I don't think I'm folding. Oh, nice. He folded. Bill, you should play heads up versus Polk 10K hands, no limit 10K hands, PLO. Yeah, that's been, <laughs> that's been recommended a few times. I don't think uh, I don't think it's gonna make sense. I live here in uh, Nevada. He lives in Texas, and um, I can really only play on WSOP.com. Small betting. Because he was bluffing. <laughs> Sweet Paranoia says, hi, Phil. Good luck with the tables. I just want to thank you for the content you've created. It's amazing. Thank you very much. And you're very welcome. All right. So we've got an under the gun limp. What's going on here? Come on, lip ring, Brad. So under the gun limp, small one completes. I check. Lip ring, Brad. Lip ring, Brad. Did I say it? It sounds like it. It doesn't sound real. Lip ring, Brad. It sounds like made up words. Um, leads quarter pot and now is betting a little under half pot I mean what's what is going on everybody's calling it's a bad river 
It's a good river for lip ring. When Lunar overcalls turn, I guess they probably already beat. It's kind of tempting to jam, make Lunar fold King Jack, but I don't think that's going to work. I can jam hands like 5 6 as a bluff. Uh, 4x of diamonds, 3x of diamonds. Like sixes. Probably not an open, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, aces make sense. King seven from lip ring. Okay, those stories kind of check out. Okay, rubber fist defends the big blind. This is interesting because this is a flop. Oh no, you're not seeing it. Okay, I open under the gun. Rubber fist defends the big blind. Donk's flop. What is he doing this with? Do I just want to raise now? Well, he either has like combo or a gut shot. I think either. I think I want to raise. Because he might have like 10 9 and then, you know, turns a king and he slows down. Let's just get it in now. Okay, we get it in now, and I am dead to the club, though. Wow, that's brutal. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing I can do. Nothing he can do. And uh, that tournament that was going so well no longer is. Limbrew raised the ace queen jack six because I think this guy's a little too ag, and this is a hand that doesn't mind getting the stack to pot ratio down. Um, I guess I'm not going to do anything here. He's potting 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Um, I kind of just think he has like something silly like eights, and I'm going to let it go. Yeah, bubble time. So six left for the bubble here. Unfortunately, I've lost some chips on both tables. So I can't get two ag um, on the top left. It's not like I can apply pressure to, you know, half the table has me covered. Time for other people to get aggro, though. Fours. Um, it's folded to me. Do I rip this in? I think so. Um, let's see. It's almost sixteen big blinds. Maybe not.
I'm going to go for it. I'm not too concerned about caching the 500. result. That means I was right to shove force. Ah, no exciting game still. This might not be a call six max. Heads up, it certainly is. I mean, I don't think I can bluff King-10. Having the Ten of Hearts is kind of nice, though. Curious. Nothing at all. Benny, good to see you. So, I mean, he's 3-betting so wide that I think I just stick this in pre. It doesn't have great post-flop playability. That's not good. Oh, okay, I am ahead for the time being. Just managed to hold. All right, we got hand for hand up here. You guys are just seeing the uh, set over set hand. That was unfortunate. So 242 left, 240 spots pay up here. Um, we have three four shorter stacks they're all to our right though and down here we will put in the cold four <laughs> and i'm actually opening on the uh i'm opening jack 10 suited on the bubble table I don't think there's a play other than jam. Unfortunately, he has a double suited hand, so lots of flush half the time. I mean, whatever. Oh, wow. He did not have a double suited hand. That's all the flushes. Um, I don't think that's a call, but he wins. Meanwhile,
I just jam this in? Let's just do it. Who cares? <laughs> Seven, eight, not good enough to start betting down here. Bottom right is interesting. I guess we peel and hope for the best. It's a decent multi way and not amazing, but high suits. Um, and now I guess we're maybe committed with six and two back doors. I don't know, actually. This is weird. This is very weird. I guess I'm calling, but I, I I really don't know. Okay. This is, I mean, it's pretty ugly because he has aces, probably. I mean, if he has a seven, it's worse. My ace is no good. I have two back doors. I guess I have odds, but... It's close. And this complicates it. I think this makes it worse. I feel like Ohm is folding because he didn't open rip. Yikes. All right, whatever. Let's stick it in. Um, nope, just the top two are bracelet events. Okay, yikes, it's not me. All right, we were ahead of him. Our clubs were alive, our hearts were dead in both spots, and uh, we did not get there. We were having a brutal day at the cash game tables. Luckily, we haven't been playing 2550. Or fifty one hundred. It's down a little over nine K. Got some equity in these tournaments. Not a ton. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna need somebody to move up and play twenty five fifty so I can get even. Don't try this at home though. This game on the left. Okay, we're in the money on the other table. He left this game. In the money. So no uh no bullying the short stacks. Ethan Feeney, thank you for the kind words. Uh, asks, best tip on getting rid of nerves before tournaments? It's a good question. Um, I like um, Prime Mine, Elliot Rose uh, MP3s. Otherwise, I think, like, I think when you when you buy in, um, consider the money gone. So, you know, you buy into a one K tourney. 1K is gone. It's gone. Um, but now you want to try your best to win the tournament. But the 1K is gone. Uh, and I think that that might help you feel a little more free. You get jammed on by a five big blind stack. I know in theory, Ace-8 is, is a jam or a call or whatever. Okay, 
I guess that's why it's a call in theory. Okay, flop the nuts down here. Um, interesting. Check, 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 bet, but I don't have a spade, so I'm not going to consider calling. Um, we face a bet here. I'm just going to call. It's a rainbow board, and this guy likes to tag it up. Now we have the second nuts. We also block two pair. Um, I'm going to check call. Ten seven. Okay. I should maybe lead this queen turn actually. Queen nine, sure. Queen nine raised didn't work, I see. Getting killed at PLO. Yeah, PLO was uh, supposed to be my game, but not today. I should stick to No Limit Hold'em tournaments. Okay, we're going to lose the table. <laughs> My bleach house has Phil is so still sometimes I think the video is paused. Yeah, try to move around more. Be freer. All right, so we're losing this table. Uh, what are we going to do about it? I don't know yet. Let's move it out of the way for now. Bluff turn, going to bluff river as well, having no hearts in my hand. Mm -mm. This is just a fold. Uh, 
Uh, Lippering Brad shoving nine big blinds. I think Ace Five Offs probably a fold. Ace Five Suited's a call. I'm guessing, but yeah, it seems right. Ace Eight Offsuit probably goes with it. I don't know. I don't know. We have some poker hands, folks. Um, Ace King Offsuit is just getting ripped in. Kings, I think I'm gonna three bet. I don't see a great reason not to. Okay, that's going in. Uh, Oh, <laughs> we got trapped. I mean, what can you do? It's going in no matter what he did. Nice hand. We're out of one tournament. We are down to one tournament with pocket kings. Could we lose both at once? Pull up the PLO table here. We get called. I don't know how much I want to bet here. We saw the ace in the in the window. But it's gotten a little better. Pot the set on the right. On the left table, I'm not really sure what we're doing here. It's tempting to check. Ten, ace X. I'm gonna check. Try to get it on the river. Rep like ace four suited. Or maybe like queens. That didn't want to jam the turn, but Okay. I mean, it was going in no matter what. But I think I like the check. I don't know. Um, unfortunately, we're down to one tournament. And one cash table. There's a small three bet here. We're going to call. Orca and Lippering Brad are all in. You know what's kind of sad? Sick or sad? I don't know. Um, I was kind of hoping to get stacked there with Kings when I lost the other one because I don't like one tabling tournaments. But Stacking him was okay as well. We'll take it. We are in the money. 27th out of 188. There's 120K and a bracelet up top. Still a long way to go, though. <clears throat> okay. Do I open Queen Jack against a big blind who's already all in? No, I don't have to decide. Ooh. 
would not have won probably. Uh, I'm gonna fold because I'm gonna take this short break. I have to play a seven high. Do I? Do I? I'm not going to. All right, I'll be right back. All right, just in time. <clears throat> oh, I lost my seat. Uh. 
Open up 10 tables of mixed games, get the blood flowing. Let's see if there are mixed games running. I mean, you all wanted me to play Hold'em, though. I don't really like Hold'em. Um, fold. I can't believe there aren't more, um, well, more of the, uh, I can't think, more PLO games running. <clears throat> How did this all get in? Jam, jam, must be short. Mm-hmm. You guys are saying Ornicus is boxing? Did not know that. I need to know other people's... Uh... Michael's saying, I know it's just negativity bias, but I feel like I see Ace... I flop more than average when I have King King. Glad you mentioned negativity bias. You've seen me tweeting about that. Um, yeah. Or, or making videos here on the YouTube channel. But um, yeah, it's just we remember them more. Augustin asks if, uh, if you want an online bracelet, is it an actual bracelet? Yes, it is. It's the same, uh, the same bracelet as you get when you win a live event. Oh, I guess we're folding a seven here. <clears throat> It aces. We can make it almost 400, or we can make it exactly 400. <clears throat> 360. Three, oh yeah, math. Hashtag math. Um, I don't think there's a good reason not to. Interesting one here. Three times pot remaining. We have two pair. Daces. Do we just rip it in? I think probably not. Let's see a turn. I really don't know. Um, Rusty on six max. He shouldn't have a ton of like sets or nine eight. I mean, some nine eight. <clears throat> Small bet's interesting. Well, unfortunately, now it looks like I have exactly what I have. Could have been deceptive on a three. M big blind jam. I think we're going with it with ace jack suited. You shoving any suited ace. Um, well, it was a flip. It is no longer a flip. down to 179 not too bad we're not where we were <clears throat> excuse me
much do I worry about whole card sharing? Um, not a ton, but it is a thing. I think on a lot of major sites, they do a pretty good job of policing that. Um, I'm not sure whether or not they do on this. I'm not saying they don't on this site. I just don't know. XX has been great watching you last five hours. Good luck getting a bracelet. I hope you can, you leave up so I can come back to see what happened. Thanks. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for the good luck wishes. I will do my best to win a bracelet just for you. Yeah, it'd be fun to final table this thing. Still got a long way to go. Uh, we're just basically average stacked with 166 left. Or could just flop in the joint. Is that a shove against an open here? Doesn't seem like it. But I don't know. Min raise, middle position. I don't really know. I guess he's getting a lot of pot outs. Lots of pot outs. Still nobody playing PLO outside of this one. Appreciate you all being here. I know it's been a, well, I mean, we've got a, a deep run going. But I don't know. For some reason, I feel like the action's been slower than ever. Uh, let's bet. This person's 3xing, which I think is not good. Eight four suited, ten big blinds getting raised. Weird. Yeah, I mean, I have a really good calling hand, but <clears throat> take it, lip ring. Um, I have a really good calling hand, but people don't bluff enough, do they? King five, king four. I really don't think he's bluffing, but I have one of the best calling hands. I am, although I'm repping an eight or a straight and mostly an eight, so kind of always have this good of a calling hand. And sometimes I have a king king. What are you bluffing with? King five, king five four, king four six, king four something, king four anything. I don't know. I just don't think, um, I just don't think I'm going to win. So there you go. Hold fours here to an under the gun open. Nothing.
I guess later in the series, there, there are PLO events. And um, at that point, it's likely that these games start running. I don't know. I feel like last summer they were running kind of regularly, although I didn't really play them outside of streaming. So I could definitely be wrong. June 22nd, there's a PLO online event, bracelet event. The next double online event is... Uh... Oh, there's a PLO event. So on the 18th, that's in two weeks. Wait, is that two weeks? No. Yeah, that is two weeks. Um, there's PLO and a no limit. Cold call out of the small blind. We are going to see some King King. We're also going to see some, I don't know, but this hand's bad. Hmm. I don't know. I, for some reason, don't think he has much. I think I'm probably wrong. <clears throat> I'm not really repping anything is the problem. I'm not really repping anything. Might have been able to make that fold with, well, turn pot bet or river bet. Just need to rep a hand by potting turn. <clears throat> Queen four is gonna win this. How did that get in? Yeah, I guess stacks are so short now, stuff's getting in. Stuff is getting in. Not nine three offsuit kind of stuff though. Heidi is a PLO fan. Me too. I do find it more fun. I'm trying to find us more tables. I mean, I could get us some 510 tables, but I don't really want to. Um, but maybe I should just play a 510 table. Yeah, I usually stream, well, I basically always stream no music, no background noise. I think, um, I always think maybe I should set up some kind of royalty, royalty free music so that y'all are not uh, bored. But <clears throat> I've asked a couple of times and most people have said, no, I'll just play my own music. Don't worry about it. Zoom in for this. I'm going to check the other table, by the way. Aces. Two aces. called 
by an 80k stack, a 90k stack. That's weird. I expected a lot of shoving from that stack. This is the person who opened to 3x, so they might be a little. Whatever. Fishy. Uh, do I want to bet small and make sure bet goes in in case... I don't know. Maybe. Probably. Checking and having this guy bet would be good, but he might just have sixes. And, you know. <clears throat> up against a pair and we held so we're back up to 280 and facing a big bet here when he shouldn't have a lot of big bets um, I bet flop check turn. So nothing missed, which he knows. Seven, six. Why is he big betting though? Because small bet blocks. Seven, six. I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird spot. <clears throat> King six suit is a little light, but we. It's kind of silly, but I feel like we look like we're under the gun, but there were three players sitting out, so we're not under the gun. Get a little more respect, I think, than we're supposed to, is what I'm getting at. And then here, I think we can get some ace highs to fold, so let's do that. In case Jack wins, but can't bet. Okay, cool. All right. Setting up a jam for the river. We just fold ace four or five here. It's gotten a little dice here. Um, how are we bluffing? That's the thing. Is he ever going to call? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really love this river. Bad river. I mean, I feel like I'm repping like king queen off with king of spades on the turn. So I didn't really think I'd get called by tens there, but I guess it was maybe a good river. Oh, we've got a big stack. Phil M says, Phil, would you be interested in a bankroll challenge on 1020 PLO on WSP if you cross book 10x with someone like Jungle? Maybe. I guess we're going to have to fold this. This guy's shoving for a min raise, but that opens the action and Brock can punish me.
go to one with nine seven though. I know it. Knew it. All right, weak aces. We are second out of 130 remaining. Not a bad place to be. What is going on here? Call and fold on a 10, go with it on something. Okay, there's the 10. He's checking. I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, meanwhile, I, I would love to see his hand, but I'm not going to pay $1,000 to see his hand. Sorry, $829 to see his hand. Yeah, it seems like more people agree that everybody can play their own music. Don't let me pick terrible music. Eric, thanks for watching. Good luck. Me. <laughs> good luck going to bed. And thank you for the good luck wishes is what I meant. I'm going to fold this Jack Nye offsuit. I'm going to give him the 10 second sweat just so he thinks twice about doing it next time. This is advanced. You're very welcome, Eric. Thanks for, uh, thanks for checking it out. Hope you enjoyed it. I mean, it sounds like you enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll be at the final table when you wake up. I feel like kings are the best hand here, although we could have aces again. I'm going to go thin. I'm going to go thin. Well, I was right that it was the best hand, but he didn't call. Um, sorry, let's stick with that instead. Hmm. Okay, defending the big blind with 
pretty bad double suited hand. Flopping a pretty good double suited hand. Go ahead and raise. Um, don't raise all of my eight six, but with a redraw like this, I mean, it's just a big, big hand. Backdoor clubs as well. All right, bad turn. This seems like enough flush. This seems like enough flush. What do you have? 10 8. Hmm. I mean, I block 10 a. Yeah. Uh, maybe I just call because he's not going to bet river that often. I don't know. I thought that was aces. Two card PLO, yeah. All right. Omaha for rolls, I don't think that's Laszlo, but maybe. Still no games. We'll play some stud again. It was pretty fun, actually, but you all didn't like it. So I mean, the those of you chatting seem to, but those of you viewing seem not to. Do a lot of checking on queen seven three, I assume. And facing a big bet. Yeah, I assume Silver just calls. It's tempting to rip it in. Just end the hand. Um three five. It's limp. Drop me, nice hand. 
Cash cam's not going my way. I'm a tournament player now, everybody. I am strictly a tournament player. Weird. Uh, he's not going to have a lot of jack axe, so I just bet for kind of protection and stuff. I guess I'm checking. Um, yeah, let's investigate. Let's not accuse people of RTAing without very serious evidence. As Heidi points out. Matt L, just tuned in how many left? We got 109 left. I'm fifth out of 109. This hand is kind of questionable by me. Ace three, ace deuce make a lot of sense. King ten, four five. Ace X, maybe. Yeah, just ace X. You're now six out of one oh nine. We're getting smashed in cash games down. I mean, down 11K, which is not that many buy-ins, but it's hard to win back one tabling. You know that. Do I lead here? Probably not with the jack high. Eh, maybe. I don't know. This is not good. This is not good. I think I lose. Call. I just think I lose. I think I lose. You're going to say I'm a nit, but I think I lose. I was going to fold your river bet, so... But I thought it was coming, so. I'm gonna try to get even by folding flushes. Jack seven suited. Ten nine off is probably supposed to be a fold. I don't know. Seems like a good hand to barrel with. A 
Maybe I should third pot flop. Fives. It's a bad turn. I don't rep that much, but let's try anyway. Try to get him to fold like Queen Ten and fours, which are going to bluff me on the river. Don't know if this is a call, but we're going to call on the button. We are now fifth out of 100. Not that that makes a big difference. We did not want to see the squeeze. All right, McCallan folded kings. Okay, goodbye. Wow. Uh, that's not good. That's okay. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Let's investigate. It says he'll play a fade or heads up if he has one minute time limit for hand. I think, uh, I think he would do that. He's very good. Heidi, thank you for the kind words, and uh, you're welcome for the stream. I appreciate you being here. Interesting flop. Um, interesting. I mean, I don't think this is really a thing, but I'd like to clear up my equity, like, make him fold his four over card hands and I can call a raise. I do need a treadmill desk, JK, right? I had one once though. It didn't get much use. It was more annoying than anything. All's going according to plan here. Oh, I thought he was going to rep that. So what is he saying he has? I mean, I'm going to check raise and he's going to fold, but I, I can't really be bluffing. I have kings at worst, maybe six X at worst. This is a strangely played hand all around. Bluff, maybe? Maybe I just had the six high straight that he rivered. Lip ring Brad has been on my left, on my right this whole tournament, I feel like.
three, four, five, six. I don't know if this is a defend, but I'm going to defend. Because I know these cards are live. Even better. Now oh, they're so live. Okay. We've got a couple outs. Peter asks if I'm going to play any live events. Probably not. Uh, maybe. Actually, like 50-50. I shouldn't say probably not. Did not want to see the big bet. Yeah, Brent. <laughs> I folded that last flush just to get to you. Turn even more straight outs. It goes check, check. I guess I'm bluffing. I guess I'm bluffing. Ace king. Hate to see ace king here. I don't have diamonds, which is good. I mean, it's a very clear bluffing hand. He just has king, king, I guess, somehow. Um, I'm going to fold. Beth up. King, King of Diamonds, I guess. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Quinn says, I'm too committed to the bit of folding. Uh, let's investigate. Phil always starts off cash game slow and wins it all back. I, I do tend to do that a lot. Was down a million to Venny. Yes, I was. In all seriousness, though, Brent, every time that I folded a flush, um, my opponent was representing better than my hand. So I had a bluff catcher and decided against bluff catching, essentially. Damien asks if there are going to be any online PLO events. There are two, I believe. Um, I was just looking at the schedule. Let me pull it up again. Oh, no, just, yeah, two. There's a $500 June 18th and a 1K on June 22nd. The rest of them are no limit hold'em. The Cadillac of poker. We play 200, 400, 08. I feel like that's a better way to win our money back. Except that I'm bad at, I'm, it's, I'm worse at 08 than I am at stud. And you guys will probably leave. Um, things, I think that's okay to defend. No, let's fold.
ID says TPC. What does that mean? Can't figure it out. Brad asks if Farah is going to play any WSOP. Yes, she played the. Uh, she's played a few events. She cashed. Wait, did she cash? Yeah, she cashed WSOP event already, and um, she played the five k today, which is probably the biggest she's going to play before the main. Uh, she did not cash in the five k, but uh, she's playing like a near full schedule, and uh, she'll be representing the Galfons at the live WSOP. Um, Lent, Lent, Lent asked when I was sponsored by Full Tilt, how much you got paid? I did. I wasn't sponsored by Full Tilt. They, um, they never sponsored me. I mean, this is a weird one. I'm going to bet. And if the river bricks, I'm going to show down. But if the river is like a jack, I'm going to bluff. Ace, I'm going to bluff. Nine, I'm going to bluff. Ten of spades is pretty weird. What is going on? How are you leading? I've never been this confused. He shouldn't have any leading range here at all. Queen 10, dry queen 10 somehow. I mean, you just shouldn't have a leading range. But how can I have the best hand? You'd have to have five, four, ace, deuce, five, four, ace, jack, five, four. What is going on? I was thinking about bluffing. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Ace, jack, king, jack, nine, five. I don't understand what's going on. There shouldn't be any leading here at all. What's going on? going on I have no idea what's going on but how are you bluffing but how are you value betting I don't know I'm I'm just 10 5 7 8 I'm so confused you got me I mean you confused me enough I guess you're thinking that if you check I'm going to bet my boats anyways and there's not that much left to lose but So weird. Check call. Check call. Lead pot. I'm baffled. Um, Okay, not folding this. Do I want to fast play? I think so. Uh, do I? Yeah, whatever. Well, I was in good shape. Okay, I won. Very thrown off by that hand. I guess I'm a fish for calling. Lost some chips in the tournament. Not a ton, but some. A couple of three pop opens gone wrong. This might be another of them. What? 10 6 suited on the button. I'm not going to. Not going to not open. Okay. Eric asks. Uh, how much is up top in this event? It's 120K for first, 90K for second. I'm 19th out of 74. 
And I'm getting three bet when I have queens and tens. So we're going to see a flop. Somehow I don't flop a sat. <laughs> Addiction. Addition addict. Oh, I like that. I like math. If you had a bracelet for every time you want a bracelet, how many bracelets would you have? I'd have three. Yeah, let's investigate. Let's let's stop uh, making accusations that I'm pretty sure are not true and are certainly unfounded. Let's be a friendly place. We've heard you. I guess I'm checking. Gonna fold, I think. He's four off soon. I'm not gonna do it. Discipline. Eleven PM. This is way past my bedtime. Tomorrow's Monday too. I have some stuff. Pretty good turn. Okay, I can't resist King Ten suited, nor should I. It's a very good river, probably the best in the deck. Bet flop, probably bet turn. Um, I just have such a big range advantage here. Question is River. Tim Bishop says, Good luck, buddy. It's Lipring here. Lipring Brad, we've been hanging out all day. Good to see you. How we played the main together. Someone got us a bottle of scotch and we shared cheers at the end. I remember that. I remember that. Good luck against everybody besides me. Okay, take it down. Gotta apply pressure in these things. You're now 14 of 71. <laughs> Flying Ape says, if you wanna beat Phil, just do something that doesn't make sense. You're right. It gets me so confused. And yeah, now I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna really confuse Brent by calling with one pair against the full house. All right, I'll be right back. I need something to eat. Um, 
to resume in two minutes though, so I won't be gone long. Okay, just in time for queen seven all. Father asks, is Ivy as good as his reputation would have you believe? Yes, he is. He's He is and always has been really, really good. He's just he's just extremely smart. And uh he outguesses people. Let's post from the cutoff. Why not? Get dealt a double suited hand. Justice. I don't know if we can call it, actually. <laughs> I don't think we can. Two players behind us. This player's short.
Um, we'll check. Kind of an iffy call even, um, but the two queens are live because I have the queen of spades and I'll win a big pot on a queen, most likely. I'm getting raised. <clears throat> was not expecting that. Um, so two outs to the queen. The five is probably good. Spades, I don't know. Eight outs. We call it eight outs average, seven outs average. It's, I don't think we can call. Good looking out, Quentin. I actually didn't see what these messages were. Callan had the nut flush, I think. Most likely. Um, I could open this, but let's limp. Tim, yeah, hopefully see you soon as well. Hopefully I'll keep seeing you in this tournament until the final few players. Hey, Phil, what do you think of five-card PLO and six-card PLO taking right now? Are you getting prepared for it in South America? It's booming. Um, awesome that it's booming in South America. I know it's picking up a lot everywhere. I have not done much work. Well, I've not done any work on my five-card and six-card PLO games. Um, we do have five-card PLO support uh, for Vision. It's runawants.com slash Vision, I think. Um, so we do have uh, five-card PLO solutions. Um which is where I would start if I was learning. Um, but I I don't have access to a lot of games, so I just haven't bothered. Um, I would like to learn though. It sounds it sounds fun. Open sevens. It's not a great blocker hand. I think we're just betting. I don't 
We're definitely raising ace king king jack double. Okay, good results thus far. Well, this flop is not good. Okay, nice hand, C Colt. Eric says, I'm staying awake for the sweat. Making some coffee, so no pressure. <laughs> um, that is quite a bit of pressure. There's still 65 players left. I guess the blinds go up pretty quickly, so maybe we're, I don't know how far away from the final table. I'll do what I can. But no promises. Except that I'm not going to get even in cash games tonight. I'm going to have to win the tournament. What have we got here? Min raise. 3x. I should start paying attention to the way other players are playing. Maybe some shown, shown down hands. So that I could develop reads, that's a, a pretty important part of playing poker. Flying Ape says, what do you guys think about 20 card PLO? That, uh, that would be dumb. <laughs> you would always, uh, if you had the nut flush blocker, you would always have a nut flush. Ooh. 2550 PLO. We might get unstuck after all. Okay, how are we going to do this? I have a note. Stab light three way versus check. Okay. It's not that helpful, but it's something. <clears throat> and I timed out up here with queens, no less, although I would have lost. Okay. Just going to need a seven. Uh, Perhaps not. Min raise. Into two short stacks and me. It's a PL. It's a good flop. It's a good turn, I think. Against Roop. So he got small on a flop. Um, I think I just have to rip it in now. I don't think there's any sense in trapping. The small sizing is weird, but let's just see. All right. That small sizing is kind of smart with that hand. I like it. But we won 5K, so another 5K and we're unstuck. And then if we win this tournament, it will be even better. OK, 
Okay, we get three bat. Probably win the other 5k right here. Spoke too soon. Pot on the bottom is not really a, a thing. But here we are. Um, what are you doing? I guess I'm B. I guess I'm beat. I'm beat. I guess we're folding nine six. Good luck, Tim. That's Tim, right? I think it was. Yep, yeah, Tim. I need a ten to keep Tim alive. Ten. Good game, Tim. This down here is not really an open, but we're going to go for it. I don't know. The table filled up around this guy, Rupert, but he hasn't done anything bad yet, in my view. They're assuming that he's making mistakes. We'll see. Yikes. think we have to go with it because there's a chance he just has you know ace king jack four or some kind of flush draw and i'm actually ahead and if i'm behind it's not by much so that's like you know not the end of the world we got there lucky us gg okay we made a little bit back Yes, Moonlight Master, as Moonlight Master said, the tournament will crown a winner today. It is a one-day tournament. Wendell asks, how can I find out some solid thresholds for river value bets with vision? Because sometimes it's like shifting which, what is actually a bluff, etc. Not exactly sure what you mean, but keep in mind that thresholds for river value bets especially um and especially out of position but in both positions have a lot to do with blockers too so sometimes you'll actually value bets a hand because it's good, ha, because it has good blocker qualities and actually check a hand that's a little bit better that has bad blocker qualities um, which i know is confusing I 
Hey, there's another 1020 table. I, I think this 2550 might not last, but we'll see. I mean, I play, I fold flushes all the time, so people should play with me. I don't know about this one. Let's raise. <laughs> Thinking seven six, I guess is a fold. That's pretty ugly. Here we Bluff. Appreciate the support, Eric. Anna, welcome to the stream. I'm stuck. Not that much anymore um, because we moved up in stakes. Um, I'm stuck 3,500. That doesn't include my tournament buy-ins and I still have this one table on the top left where we are in the money and pretty deep into the money. 13th out of 54 players remaining, 240 players cashed. Looking for a final table. Unlike most tournaments where I'm looking to lose. Um, is anybody short here? Matthew Glenn, thank you for the good luck wishes. This bottom right table is going to be done shortly, I suppose. Interesting river. Bad river on the bottom right. I'm going to show down and lose with a queen. I guess I was already beat. Um, bottom left. It's kind of a weird spot if he checks. If he bets, and, you know, I'm unhappy. Just kind of believe him, so okay, we got ace queen. Oh, Tim, nice. You're alive in the 1K. Awesome. Win that one, then. We have a tough spot here with ace-queen. Ace-king is obviously a snap call. Ace-queen suited, I think, is a call. But we're looking at a pretty strong range, I think. He's got, well, 15 big blinds. I'm opening an early position. If we're, like, two positions later, I think it's a snap call. As is... He's shoving ace queen. Is he shoving ace jack? Maybe. He's shoving nines, yeah, I think. I think I just have to call with the pot odds. Okay, that's good. Just need two clubs. All right, we'll take it. We'll gladly take the chop.
Interesting flop here. Uh, it's pretty ugly. I guess I check. Uh, right table, top right, I could have bet flop. Either way. Why don't I believe you? It's dumb of me not to believe you. I guess I fold. Ray's cold call. How does he have? I don't know. I just a little deep. I have enough like ace ace four that I can rip in there. Maybe I need to, I need to look to uh. And some traps there as well. Oh well. We are 15 out of 50. Jeremiah, good to see you. So this bracelet event is going to end at 3 a.m. at this rate. Yeah. I don't know why it's playing so slowly. What's there? Is everybody trying to ladder up? I don't think on min raises. I have king seven off. I think it's just a fold. Mm. It's a pretty good flop. It's a pretty good flop. Kind of unfortunate turn. So if we got a nine big blind jam, we have an ace and a king, two suits. Everybody's tanking. Why is everybody tanking? Are they really trying to ladder up? I don't understand what's going on. Kind of bad feeling about that one. I mean, after that flop, you're supposed to kind of have a bad feeling about it. Okay, back to the drawing board. Hmm. Anna asks, thanks, Phil. Do you, if you have time to answer, do you prefer lower buy-in or higher buy-in tournaments, both in terms of EV and enjoyment? Um, higher buy-in for both. Um, I mean, lower buy-in, obviously, you can obviously have a bigger win rate, but I mostly play tournaments to try to make final tables. So I like the smaller fields.
I, c I could have bet at some point here. I don't know. To be honest, I got a little distracted. Yes, he wins. Huh. This is maybe bad, but. So we're less than average. Um, Yes, we're folding here. All right, so we're down to, what is this? 20 big blinds in the tournament, a little bit less, which is unfortunate. I mean, it's whatever. 47 left, 20 big blinds, not that bad of a place to be. Here we three bet, flop pretty poorly. Because it's just a check fold or a small bet fold. With small bet fold, I think that might work better. Now, what do we do? I think we pot and go with it. Hoping for the fold. Well, kind of hoping for the fold. Now we check fold. Um, it's going to be really hard to win this. I'm going to need him to have ace, king, queen, 10 or something. Don't think I can call. I'm not so worried about the low straight. I'm worried about flushes. Although, how do you have a flush? Queen plus flush. How do you have a flush? But could call turn after calling flop but not raising flop? I guess actually just king 10 with king i spades I think this is a fold against early position 4 to 1 but Okay, pocket eights. Look alive. Under the gun opens.
Whoa. I think it's a fold. Obviously, if under the gun's not in there, I'm thrilled to get it in with the button. So maybe under the gun save me some money against these pocket tens. Wow. Fives. There are the tens. Save me some money against the ace king. <laughs> Dylan says, really enjoy the segments with your wife, Phil. Can sense you both work hard to be good spouses. Thank you. Question, safely assuming you're good financially, ever think about giving up poker indefinitely? Um, I, I mean, I don't think I would ever stop playing poker completely. Um, there's not any work activity I've done that I, that I enjoy more. And I think I would never, I would always, I would always want to be doing something. And poker's really fun. So no, I don't, I don't want to quit poker. Pod, thank you for the good luck wishes. Much appreciated. Mm. Wait, make a bad call. Matt Davis, welcome. Um, he says, how much up top in the Hold'em tournament? We got 120,000 up top. 99, or sorry, 90 for second. I keep saying that. Maybe that means I'm going to get second. I hope not. Well, I guess I hope so, but I kind of hope not. Thought that would bet turn queen five. Yeah, of kind of a loose open. I mean, it is a loose open. Hey, X three O says, "Hear me out, Phil." Short deck PLO. Now I think uh, I don't. I don't see it. Spaffron, thank you. I don't know if I got this, but I do probably got this. How many chips are in play? Eighty million or so. So I just need to win. 
It's not that many all-ins that I need to win if I double up each time. JT83 says, at the 5, 10, and the 10, 20 tables, do you f at all factor in that people might want to bluff Phil Galphon? Um I haven't thought about it, to be honest, but it's a good... Uh, thank you for mentioning it. It's a good point. I find that people... Well, I theorize that people go one of two ways. They either want to bluff me or that they... I don't want to say are afraid to bluff me, but are afraid that I'm going to read their soul. So... Could see it going either way. So it's pretty hard to guess, you know, when, we're, when I don't know somebody. Okay. If he jams, I have to fold. If he limps, it's not a bad jam. It's not a bad jam. It's also not a bad call. Or check back, rather. This hand, it's kind of hard to rep anything I could raise. Yeah, and e five five was kind of a light shove. As you could tell, I was nervous about eight eight uh, and unsure what I was going to do. Made a uh, hasty fold here, given that it went four. I, I clicked auto fold. I think I might have called had I known it was going four way. Moonlight says some people just need to get to bed so they can go to work tomorrow. Makes a 5-5 shove easier. Yeah, that's me. Jack-7, look at that. So sick. This bet's kind of iffy. I mean, it doesn't matter that much. Either way. But now we're in trouble. Don't think I can fold yet, but I want to. Uh, with no backdoor, I probably could. Fold 6-5 suited, that's unfortunate. And we're gonna have to fold. Are we up to, yeah, 600, nice. It's been a slow start to this stream. Glad we're, glad there are more of you joining us. Do I believe in fate or free will? Um, I guess if I'm, if I have to choose, you can kind of believe in both, um, like determinism, right? That we all have free will, but I might be mis, mis, uh, paraphrasing what, what this means, but, um, we all have free will, but if, uh, if a being were, were knowledgeable enough about the way we all are and the way we tick, um, they could predict everything that we're going to do. Okay. This maybe it's supposed to be a fold to the three, but this player's on the looser side, though. And I'm going to flop top pair and 
and lose. Um, okay, do I want to start basically bluffing with this hand? I think I might. I think I might. Okay, nice hand. Ace queen with clubs here. Um, I don't really know. It feels a little thin to get this in for 100 big blinds on the flop, but I feel like there are a lot of hands I can call that I'm doing well against. An awkward turn. Yikes, how does he find the raise on the three? I'm going to fold. Okay, like that's a good example of a hand that I wanted to get more money in against. I get to open in the tournament. I think I might check call here. I was thinking it's hard to get called. But... He had. Yeah, he had a five. He didn't consider bluffing. That's interesting. Patron says, the best of you versus jungle videos are absolutely hysterical. Thank you. Yeah, I, I love those. Moonlight Master, who is here in the chat, is the one who uh, is the genius behind editing those. Could bet this could check the threes. It's too bad. I should have checked. Phil M asks, Phil, what was your most expensive misclick? Um, I don't exactly remember. The, the one that stands out to me was, it's not exactly a misclick. It's uh, dumber than a misclick. I was playing, I think it was 100, 200, or 200, 400, no limit on full tilt. This is back in 2007, I think. And I had been playing all day. There's some hand where I, I bet the turn, planning to call shove, and my opponent, is Daniel Alai, disconnects. And I see the disconnection timer says 90 seconds left to reconnect, 90, 89, 88. And I think, oh, okay, I have some time. I really have to pee. So I run to the bathroom. And... Um, I come back and 
the hand is over. Um, and thinking, what, what happened? Uh, but of course, he had 90 seconds to reconnect. But if he reconnects before then, which he did, uh, and if he goes all in, which he did, then uh, I time out and fold. So lesson learned. Twenty five of thirty nine. <laughs> queen, Queen, nine, six is good. This is folded to me with four, three suited. I wonder if that's a shove. It's probably fine to shove. Pretty sure like six, five is a shove, but. Four three is so low. Eric with some good quotes. I like the Jean quote. Do you pronounce the J? <laughs> um, I feel like a fish. But uh, until the unconscious is made conscious, it will rule our life. And we will call it fate. I enjoyed them. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to apologize for sharing good quotes in here. Uh, I don't know this guy. This is probably supposed to be a fold, but we're seeing flops today. Um, I'm going to trap. No, I'm not going to trap. I'm not going to trap. I feel like I'm running into Jack Jack here. I don't know why I think that, but I don't think it enough to not shove a deuce. Okay. Good. See, I was right that I ran into a good hand, but mm. erratic. Um, I'm just going to shove here. There's one player to my left who I'm deep with, but these two have 10 big blinds, and it's not a hand I want to let them, you know, reshove light on me with. You take it down. Twenty second out of thirty seven. And the PLO tables are going okay. Um interesting flop. I don't know. Let's try one.
I guess you win. I'm going to note that as potentially. Just keep an eye. Keep an eye. We don't need a five minute break. We've got heads up PLO action, 200 big blinds deep, and rainbow market eights. Yikes. Um, Don't know about that. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. Um, okay, 840. Is there gonna be any playability advantage? I don't get to bluff because there's a dry side pot. I guess they have high cards. I have live low cards, so we'll see a flop and see if I can get lucky. And that's a an awkward flop, but we're not going anywhere. Kind of nuts against the Fresh Prince. Don't think we want to raise yet. Do we? Maybe we do. Hmm, I guess we're checking against the Fresh Prince. Oh, whoops, I should have called that. He had 50 cents behind or whatever. Okay, King 7-3. Don't think he should bet turn there. Keep an eye on him as well. Blockers to, I mean, it's not a great hand though. None of my outs are really thrilling. I'm gonna make a tight fold. I'm gonna call and go with it unless there's an ace on the flop. Hmm. It's an awkward flop if he's jamming. Yikes. Hmm. I guess Queens also jams, but he's not jamming without a pair, I feel like, is he? I don't know. I can't I I can't fold. Oh he had Queens, good.
Okay, bottom left, we're calling, actually folding up here. And down here, I mean, I think we're supposed to call, but I only beat a bluff. Is it a bluff? I don't know. It was a bluff. Checks. I think trap here. Unfortunate river. Um, what is going on here? So confused. I'm gonna call the king jack. I might beat a chop, and he might be bluffing somehow. No, queen nine. Okay. Okay. Standard hands going on so far. What do we have? Eights, okay. Heads up against Fresh Prince on the two bottom tables. So we've got some fast action going here. Guess we're folding. Okay, big bet. Okay, we're all in. Could fold by Fresh Prince. Not ready to fold just yet.
What did you have here? Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Got lucky. Link 37 is going to be a full no matter what. Actually, going to check call on the bottom left. I think it's going to work out better. Keep betting. Is that block a jack? Oh, I thought he was going to bet ace king. I thought he was going to bet an ace, so never mind. Bottom right's a weird spot. Um, was thinking about blasting off, but now I'm just gonna check fold. Um, I know, I know, Mike. I I like card animation. When it, when there's no animation, I get I'm not confused, but I don't know. I just don't like it. Fours. I don't, I think this is just a fold, right? Yikes. 32, 13 big blinds. I don't know. Might have been a bad fold. Might have been a bad fold. We are moving fast here. Apologies for not as much commentary. Queen Jack is a min raise. All that we call interesting turn. Get a walk with ten nine, that's nice. I think we want to bet here, it's just too much equity.
fast and furious action. We'll slow down a little bit now that this table's filling up. Alex Wilson, you've followed me for a very long time. Um, let's three by this, reduce the SPR. It's not a great hand, but we're kind of short. Um, there are 36 left in this bracelet event. I'm 24th out of 36. Average stack is 800K. I have 511, as you can see here. Interesting. I'm just going to put a note to keep an eye on this guy because this other one joined when he joined. Uh, my cash game session, I'm winning now. I'm up um, 3K. Do I open King 6 suited? We've got a... 10 big blind, 10 big blind. Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. A cold call, which is interesting. Okay. What do you have? Suited Broadway? Suited Ace. I don't know about this. Maybe I should have bet. Maybe I should just bet the king six because if I'm beat, he's going to bet anyway. Although I do keep in dead hands. Okay, we're going to call. We have another PLO table picking up now, so... It's not a good river. Queen Jack gets there. Does he slow play flop with fives or dates? I don't think so. What are his bluffs? What are your bluffs? So Queen Jack got there. That's about it. Um, Queen Jack's, and that's suited only. But King Queen offsuit. There are a lot of those. Could you just have a six, a ten? <sighs> You're really risking it all right now. Jack. Yeah, I didn't think I was beat on the turn. Oh well. Queen Jack makes sense. Kept in the hand with four outs, but uh, what else got there? Yeah, in the end I decided that um, 
I didn't think he was going to bet um, that small on the turn if I was beat. It's not tiny, but it's not, like, big. Um, and who knows if I was wrong. But uh, it was Queen Jack. I needed him to have Ace Jack or Ace Six suited, and it's tough to get them to follow through on a bluff. So maybe it's a a bad river call. Uh, I missed the action here, but uh, so we finished in thirty fourth place, which is not where I wanted to finish. So it's just a fold, I guess. He's still betting here. I have the ace and the king. I have no idea what he has. I guess I keep slow playing. I don't know. What can you have? Ah, that's too bad. Um, I mean, I won money tonight, but I wanted to... Uh, Wanted to win a bracelet tonight. I mean, you're folding. You're bluffing, so you're folding. Do we keep going with these 10-20 games that have now gotten a little juicy? I don't really want to. We are up 10k. So successful night, but not the success I wanted. Really wanted that uh, that bracelet or final table. I wanted the final table. Um, what do we do here? believe you um all right well this is a fold no it's midnight i'm a a loser so i go to bed much earlier than this So I think this might be it for me. Well, now we got some 2550 action. I might need to stick around a little longer. Might need to stick around a little longer for 2550. Okay. He's betting. He probably has a set. Didn't have a set. Uh, let's just put this in. Um, we're up against two pair. They win. It's funny how as soon as things go badly in the tournament, then it goes well in the cash games. It was the opposite most of the day.
Snap call zero five. Yeah, missed value. Hmm. I mean, what do I have to do tomorrow? <laughs> Uh, I can push one meeting. I'm okay till 11. It does seem like the action, I mean, not just judging tonight, but in general, action seems to heat up later in the night after my bedtime. Maybe it's best to just go to bed at my normal time and wake up in the morning and play when it's 6 a.m. I'm going to go for check claw. I have a queen high flush. I want to keep stuff in. Queen high flush draw, that is. That hand was going to stay in either way at a 10 with uh, weaker diamonds. Jacks are not a great hand, but we're deep enough that it's still a call. Thank you all for the GG wishes. I guess they're not GG wishes. They're just just GGs. It's tempting to bluff with this because I'm really low in my range. He might have rivered a queen, but I'm not going to. Cool. I didn't need to. What was that hand? Appreciate you all hanging around. Hope you enjoyed the show. I really not thrilled to go out the way that I did. Yes, as Moonlight mentioned, uh, subscribe and uh, hit the notification thing because I tend to go live without much warning. <laughs> um, and I'll definitely be going live again this WSOP. I got to call Jack High Flush or we lose. All right, I'll give it a few more minutes to see if we get some bigger action. I mean, this is good action, but I'm tired. Brent, no problem. 
You don't have to fold flushes like me. It's okay. Turn a pair, turn a flush draw. I think it's just fold, actually. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's benefit in me playing this so that I can use footage for run at once videos. I'm just trying to convince myself to play or not play. I just need to make a decision. King, Queen, Jack, seven, double, I think will be a three bet against the button. Now we are facing a three bet on a cold call. Could bet, could check. Let me check and he pots. This is weird. Can't fold. What do I think? What can I do? I just have to get it in. I'm not very happy about it. Okay. Nope. Three bat. Nope, don't get the opportunity. Okay, two pair and a flush draw is pretty good. How deep are we? Bluff on the top right, I think. There's a good bluffing hand. No, I'm probably not going to bluff, am I? It's not really believable now that I would play a flush draw this way. Okay, I had the best hand on the turn, so I value raised the turn. Sick value raise. Uh, my results right now, I'm up 10K. Uh, and I guess I lost like, oh, I probably broke even in tournaments actually. Yep, Brent full flushes call with pairs. That's, uh, that's how you play poker. I'll bluff, I think, although I'm winning if he was bluffing the turn. 
Yeah. He's bluffing a turn. Mm. Excuse me. Funny flop. Okay, we're calling down with four diamonds in our hand. This is weird. It's not good. Because he does kind of rep. What do you mean? He does kind of rep Jack Jack. Uh, I'm going to show down and probably win, but. Okay, Jack with the Queen of Diamonds. Okay, we got another table. Um, I don't know. Okay, interesting. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> this is a weird sizing. It's kind of silly. I guess I fold. I don't know. Okay, okay. Do we three bet the sevens? I think we do. Sevens. Here.
don't even know how, how well I'm playing. <laughs> I don't think I ripped this in to fold out 10-8. Been a good hand to raise against, I guess. Check four. We can bet that. I think I'm bluffing. Well, I thought he had a deuce, but I thought he would fold a deuce. Or at least consider it. Um, the fact that he snapped called a deuce means it's really bad bluff. Bad bluff, Phil. You can't win them all. Oh. Rip this in for... It's a lot to rip in. Pretty deep here. It's slow play. It's a good flop, I think. Why am I timed out? I mean, he's going to sit out, so whatever. What is going on? I mean, I think I have the best hand. And he's drawing pretty slim. So, I think I probably still have the best hand. Um, his turn. Yeah, I guess he's giving up on a bluff. I don't know. Okay. 
quit. Make it easy for me. That's a three bet this. It's a pretty good flop. I think it's a good turn. I don't know. I mean, it's not the best turn. I mean, it's weird to have a half pot sizing here, but I think that's exactly as much as my hand wants to bet. So, eight high flush. All right. Okay. We can wrap up here. I appreciate everybody being here. I really wanted to win. I'm actually a little sad because I, um, some players in spots like that never bluff, and I don't know if that player bluffs or not um but i just get sad when i uh bust a tournament by hero calling the river um i mean not that it's a superhero call but calling the river uh and losing that way rather than any other way but uh i can't help myself i really thought i had the best hand on the turn and all right we'll end with a big pot perhaps Yep. All right. We want everybody all in. All in, all in, all in, all in. Oh, actually, maybe not this guy because he's so deep. I'm going to jam to make sure that he folds something because I can't beat anything. Cool. Three-way all in. I just need to hit my hand. Easy. PLO's easy. I don't know why I play no limit hold'em tournaments. Okay. Hit and ran the game. Um, so played two tournaments. We cashed in one. Um, didn't go as deep as I wanted to. And I won... Um, 17 thousand dollars in uh, mostly 1020, although actually 2550 helped me a little bit. I think I won maybe 7K there. But appreciate you all watching. I will see you when I see you. I will be streaming again this WSOP, so as Moonlight Master, shout out to Moonlight Master, by the way, and Quentin helping out uh, modding. But uh, as Moonlight Master mentioned, I'll be streaming again at some point this WSOP, so um, subscribe and uh, do whatever with notifications. <laughs> And uh, you'll get to see when I stream next because I, like today, I announced it an hour in advance. So, uh, and on Twitter. So if you didn't catch me on Twitter, then you wouldn't have noticed unless you, uh, unless you subscribed and then you would have caught it. Um, Pappy, last question before I go, because I appreciate you being here. Has that any goals on how many WSOP events I'll play? Probably very few. I'll probably play a handful of the online ones and I might play a couple of live ones, but that's it. Um, not... Not WSOPing very hard this year. So, good night, everybody. Good morning to uh, my friends over on the, uh, well, Europe and further east. And uh, I will see you when I see you. Take care, everybody.